Adam, we've got some exciting news about the sponsors. We have, we? but I've forgot what it is. Can you remind me? It's manscaped.com. They've leveled up and they're now our main podcast sponsor. Our official lead sponsor from now on, manscaped.com. Use our promo code WEIRD20 to get their products. This is now the Have A Word podcast brought to you by manscaped.com. They've been a long-time supporter of us. Please go and support them and make sure they keep supporting us forever. Promo code WEIRD20, manscaped.com. Enjoy this week's episode of the Have A Word podcast brought to you by manscaped.com. It's going to be a belter. Manscaped.com. Wag Wag Lids, before we start today's amazing episode of the Have A Word podcast, we need to tell you about our Patreon, which is the biggest Patreon in UK comedy. Yes, it is. Starts from just three quid a month. From just three quid a month, you get an extra episode every single week, exclusive to Patreons, which is up to 90 minutes long. You get 48 hours early access to these public episodes and access to the entire Patreon back catalogue, which goes all the way back to last summer. And the money we make from the Patreon, we put back into the Patreon. We've been making Patreon specials. These are so popular. They include the ghost hunt, the live show. We've got more in the pipeline. But the big ones are the lockdown lock-ins where we got shit-faced in this studio, recorded it all, and turned out some amazing podcasts. They're, they're amazing, the lockdown lock-ins, and we're signing up for alone. But on top of everything we've already said, you get discounts on merch and early access to live show tickets, which is a big one, because the live have a word shows they sell out almost immediately on Patreon every single time. And on top of that, me and Dan are going on tour, and every time we add a new date, Patreons get access to it first. I'm going on tour from February. Dan's on tour from September next year. You can get tickets for my tour at adamroad.co.uk forward slash shows and Dan's tour at dannightingale.com. Sign up to the Patreon, £3 a month, the best deal in all of UK comedy. I think it's the best deal in worldwide Patreon. That's how far I'd go. Sign up, enjoy the episode. It's going to be a belter. I've been listening to the Hamilton soundtrack quite a lot over the past week. Shite. I find it quite therapeutic. Shite. It's great. It's t- I want to tell us all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're having a tricky time at the moment, so tell us all about like, it. It's just good to have art, isn't it? Like, yeah, have art in your life in a difficult time. Art. <laughs> the Hamilton soundtrack and mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Actually raised money for a charity in Puerto Rico. Oh, that's right. You didn't give a fuck. And now you still don't. But no, that's great. I just whatever's getting you through. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Hamilton. Where's your friend? Oh no, that's from? that's wet, wet, wet. <laughs> no, that's actually quite close as well. <laughs> I hope you get You've the one first. Die of AIDS. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. He died of AIDS. He actually died because his friend shot him. Of AIDS? No. Like Shug Knight. No, no yeah. it was a duel. And Alexander Hamilton, for the first time in his life, threw away his shot, which is a recurring um, motif in the in the play. Like Shug Knight. Mm-hmm. And at the end, he throws away his shot, but Aaron Bear doesn't. For the first time in the whole play, Aaron Bear takes his shot. And oh. it's a really nice sort of tie-up. Motif. Spoilers. Do you know what a motif is? Oh, but I love you saying it. <laughs> motif. Yeah. More, <laughs> motif. More money motif. <laughs> Paul Smith. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> the more money we come across, the more TV we give. I'm going to Turkey. Get on me. Oh. oh. Fuck a duck. I need a holiday. I'm ready for a holiday. Can Where are you going, go? Aldi? Well, we were meant to go to... Fo- we've been. There's been all sorts of shit happening. What happened to Krakow? I said that to the day and you went, no. I know. Like, I you literally went, I... no. Well, I can't go to Paul Smith's What happened to Krakow too? apart from the fact that I vetoed it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going. Why aren't we going anymore? I don't know. I've well, got a week I'm off at the start it. of March. Oh, we haven't? I have. I was in like the first four days. When does your tour sort of start? 17th of Feb in Nottingham. Adam Road. No, when it, slash shows. Oh, that's when it starts. So buy your tickets now. It's about to start. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, when does it end? When are we? Cause Saturday the 25th of June. Right. And then my tour starts at the start of September. So we've got like a little summery window here, guys. I'm away for the summer. What? Well, Andrew Schultz last year moved to Miami for the 
two months, didn't he? And he just built a new studio in Miami and recorded from there. So should we yeah. do that? But in with like Miami, yeah, Benidorm. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I thought you were going British. Let's just go fucking Great Yarmouth for the summer. <laughs> Same as Miami, innit? Um, okay. But did he escape? He escaped COVID for the summer, basically, because New York restrictions, was, right. escaped restrictions. Miami had higher rates than anywhere oh, else. Florida give a it. fuck, do they? Florida are the the Liverpool of America. Yeah, there's, there's. We'll do us, and you do you. But it, isn't it? It's like the retirement state, isn't it? So there's a lot of like. But it's also full of young pussy. <laughs> it's also like party pussy. Even though it sounded beautiful, just drop your mic a little bit. <laughs> just a, there we go. My sound a little can bit better. Just, can we just, just do a sound check on <laughs> say it again? Just a pu 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 pu. Puss. Is there any way you can so- pounder in the pussy? No. Is there any way you can soften up the puss? Pussy. Yeah. You just stroke it for no, me. Pussy. <laughs> Full of young p- pussy. 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 Gally pussy. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Full of young bussy. This is weird corner. Hussy. Get um, <laughs> your canny beauty out. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go for the summer? I mean, I'm not. This is, <laughs> I'm away for August, so I can't be August. What are you talking about? Are you going away for August? Mm-hmm. Carl, you've been a fucking rock for this company since you I know. came on. I know. And now you've all, all, all fucking. I've all, never missed an episode. Who are you, Jeff Holidays? I've never been. I've never <laughs> missed an episode. <laughs> That was definitely an information in the 90s. I'm Jeff Holidays. Who wants to go on holiday? We're doing three for two on all holidays. Three for two. <laughs> you buy two holidays, you get three. I just wanted one. Why can't you just give us a 30% discount? No, it's not how it works. <laughs> I don't buy holidays from anyone apart from Mr. Holidays. It's in the name. I am. I'm Jeff Holidays. Do you love going abroad? Do you like foreigns to a point? Do you like being surrounded by other British people, near British stuff, and be able to get a roast dinner? But it's hot in it. Welcome <laughs> to Benidorm. I'm Jeff Holidays. I'll do three for two on holidays all three year for round. Two. Three for two. And I'll take off a bit of money for cash. Come on. Paying cash. <laughs> oh, my God. 0800, holiday, holiday. That's 0800, <laughs> holiday, holiday. Call now. It's a long number, that. <laughs> 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 oh, eight hundred. At least it's free. Holiday, holiday. Hello. That's definitely a call centre, in India. Hello, my name is Jeff Holiday. Is it love? It you don't sound like the other. Yes, my name is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff Holidays. Is this you, Jeff? No, this is definitely. This is me, Jeff. Jeffery. My name is Jeffery. My name is Jeffery Holidays. Jeffery. Giving very good discount. Three for two. Three today. for two. Can do one Benidorm, two Great Yarmouth. <laughs> cheapest, cheapest one free. Cheapest one free. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Did you ever book a teletext holiday? Was that your era? Uh, it was a thing, wasn't it? I think it, my memory of that has been affected by Peter Kay's material. Yeah. You know, like Peter Kay, Top of the Tower, had the teletext stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's what's is it a confabulated memory when you're like, yeah, that was yeah. yeah. I don't think I ever did, and I don't think we ever did. But I remember it being part of my life. It's a weird one that we used. Uh, so text just used to be great for the footy scores. C facts oh, and stuff. Yeah, C facts for the footy scores. Waiting for your page for your so, team, and it scored. Yeah. Oh, what was the quiz? Behind Bedlam. What was the fucking quiz that everyone did? On teletext or on Sky? Are you talking about the no, Beehive game no, with the no, honey? No, no, I'm talking about teletext on C. Wow. Beehive bedlam, mate. Whoever that comes says we made Wordle. Sorry, you seem like a really nice guy, actually. Um, you should make a, a phone version. Beehive bedlam. You can make games. Beehive bedlam. I've seen the uh, games on Netflix. Is there? Yeah. Netflix have just started games. See? As in, like- and they're just like, basically, we never want you to leave Netflix ever. So you can, if you've got it on your mobile, you can watch. And I, you know, when you clocked in, it was like, this is free, it's part of your package. It almost didn't make sense in what I was looking at. It was like a golf game, looks really good. Sick. So Netflix are doing games. Just just never leave the platform. We should do that. Uh, no, I never did a Teletext holiday. What uh, what I do now is like, ice. have you heard of Ice Lolly and stuff like that? Yeah. I just feel like the internet's so fucking good. Well, yeah. It doesn't work unless you put Lolly Ice. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Do you yes. book them together? Thanks for commenting every time I say home bargains. Like, it's home and bargain time! 
<laughs> not in any other part of the country. But it used to be. Chill the fuck out. I get it. I understand. You call Asda Walmart, do you? No, I call Asda Asda because it says that's Asda the wrong way on the building. <laughs> no, he not. should have said that to you. No, Asda has been bought by Walmart. It's now called Asda Walmart, isn't it? No, but, I, I go in a shop that says Home Bargains. Yeah. So I call it Home Bargains. Do you call it Asda Walmart because it's got Walmart written on it? What shite are you talking? <laughs> All the Asdas have Shut Asda and Walmart in really small oh, letters. Oh, fuck there. off, bro. <laughs> call him fucking... Bu- what oh, does being now I stand can't for? call bullshit again. What does being mean? <laughs> <laughs> like it's in the stop chip. Like you've been like, I'd love to do more bullshit, but Dan's got that bell. Do you know what Asda stands for? Assorted uh, dairies. And ASDA, assorted dairies. Oh, does it? Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. Well, I think so anyway. It's in my head. I thought it was a shop there, eh? That was quite quick. Hey, the shop there, eh? Shop there, eh? Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Could you turn the TV off? Because we're we're just going to get distracted by signs of Asda. Finn really going. I want to find out. Asda Walmart. Oh yeah, but it is Omen bargain. It's not even got a H on the front of it. It's Omen, like Damon Omen. Omen bargain. Omens. It's a- Omen bargain. Omens and bargains. <laughs> no, it's just Omen. We're going to get bum it's later. One word. It'll be cheap. <laughs> it's one word. Omen bargain. Omen bargain. Right, cool. I know things in Liverpool are different. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite shop then? Oh, excellent question. And I'm gonna enjoy this. What for just general food? Is it we no, talk like, in supermarkets? Because no, you might like you might like to go to screw fix. Somewhere you go and you're happy like all over in here, look looking at stuff. Oh, oh that's a fucking oh. good question, eh? Uh the leather shop for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a Florida property going on for me. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I've started enjoying Cheshire Oaks quite a lot. That's not a shop, though, is it? That's a collection. It's a of load shops. of shops. That doesn't count as a shop. I suppose, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking like your Asda's, your Tesco's, your Debenhams before they went under. Rest in peace. Your Asda, your Tesco. Curry's for me. Debenham. Oh, it's got to be Curry's. Curry's. What are you talking about? Walking around Curry's, looking at all the tellies, isn't it? It's yeah. dying. It's dead. No. It's basically the internet live. It doesn't make sense. No, but they've got all the stuff. I love. No, they've not though. I went in for a printer, and they, they, I was like, "They've got the like models out." Yeah, you can't I was like, buy "Can them. I? Can I get that one?" They're like, "They look underneath." They're like, "No." Yeah, that's fine. I don't like the going to buy stuff. Curry's needs to shut the fuck down. Yeah, but you, they've still got the stuff for you to. Look. I just like going in and looking and touching stuff. Yeah, I like opening the fridges and that. Oh, I'm doing that tomorrow, and I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be annoying me. Like, can we get this fridge? And they're like, "Oh no, there isn't one under it." No. <laughs> They're idiots. Curry's, PC World, die. I fucking hate it. I was it's like, why am I afternoon. not just on Amazon? I, I literally, in, in, I was like, not good for an afternoon. You're in there trying to buy a printer for the fucking studio. And I was like, are you dickheads? I, like, I wanted to be like, it's on, I'm on Amazon in your shop and I will never come here again. Piss me off. Cha. Cha. Upset, Upset me. Upset me. No. Nasty fucking computer suppliers. <laughs> there's no, there's no other competitor. Remember Comet? Gone. Dixon's? Dixon's. Gone. Same place, but. It's yeah. how Curry's and PC World, I think we're both struggling. They were like, let's join forces. Maplin's gone. Oh, m- m- I just, I, f- I hate it. I just want to turn it into a big sc- soft play. It'd be fucking brilliant. Oh, that'd be great. The size of them buildings. Do you not enjoy like looking at all the stuff though in Curry's? Oh, oh just on my phone. Do you know what the best thing is? No, but it's, you can't hold it and be like, what? Can't hold a printer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it and like oh, get it. Oh God, I'd, I don't want to buy a printer without smelling it. Really understand what I'm saying? Does that not the feel that? of it? Just yeah. like getting to like just be like, like on a printer or like a, a toaster or something. You walk past the kettle and go, "That kettle's sick." No, I've never got into it. <laughs> no, but you do, don't you? And yeah. you like, can I just say, sick. although I've never got it from like appliances, I will give you this: do love a walk around Halfords and just a bit of a. Oh, that's a nice bike. Yeah. So I get that with tellies. Right. I get it with kettles. Touching the screen and like seeing what happens if you press the telly and oh, see the bet, ripple come off your finger. I bet they <laughs> fucking love you, at Curry's PC World. The guy is screen. literally going to lose his job in six months because the whole thing's dying. And then Adam Rose like fuck on TV that. <laughs> well, yeah. the thing is, get the window lane. The, uh, cu- the Curry's in Aintree, all of them listen to this. All the staff because they've told me when I've been in, when I've been in, just stroking stuff. Oh, I'm not. So slag- they leave me alone. Oh, I'm not slagging off the Curry's PC World in Aintree. Their sound. <laughs> Just every other one. Just Very go and big. look at like how- get a new job because your job's about to go. I'm I fi- I'm telling you now, if you work there, don't be the last fucking rat on the boat because that shit's sinking. I try and play little games. I'll go and look at all the washing machines and try and figure out what is the pound for pound the best value washing machine. 
So there'll be like one for like 80 quid, but there'll be one for like two and a half grand. And obviously the two and a half grand one is not necessarily where is not necessarily pound for pound better than an 800 pound one. <laughs> what? Two and a half grand washing machine? Yeah. No. Yeah. Does it suck your dick? What? I- <laughs> Clean your clothes. Right. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> stupid what I said. <laughs> That's a very expensive washing machine. <laughs> this is a washing machine with a compartment with a lady like, hello, <laughs> what are you doing today? Just washing clothes on a blowjob. <laughs> Get in there. Two and a half with energy costs. Yeah. Accidentally poured a little gnaw in. <laughs> um, hole. Yeah. That's a name. So I try and figure out what pound for pound would be the best washing machine. Like if you were a billionaire, what yeah. is the best value you can get for your money? Because you can afford the two and a half grand one, but is it worth it? <laughs> If, are you going to have to replace that I'd love more to, often love to than you would to have you. to replace three eight hundred pound ones? <laughs> I'd love to come to Curry so you'd be like, right, pound for pound. What's the best washing machine? Pound for pound. What's got the best grappling game? Who's got ground and pound? Who's a striker? Doesn't make sense. I, don't, I know what you mean, but like, can't be paid. How much are you paying for your washing machine? You've just bought a house. We have. How, I've got a second hand washing machine. Uh, it got bought for us. Who, who dropped a... Her mum gave, gave, gave us one. Oh, it's a grown-up present. And she gave us a, a sick Hoover as well. Right? Yeah. It's so boring being an adult, isn't it? No, what did you get for Christmas? Knives, a washing machine, and a sick Hoover. It is a sick Hoover. So the best thing to do is, in, like, homeware stores, going into the made kitchens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you'd open the doors, and, like, some of them are slow and that. Like, wow, it's like I put this kitchen in my kitchen. Yeah. You go into the kitchens and you just look at... Like, they've all got mad drawers that, like, fucking go all mad and that. Going to Ikea with him's fun. Ikea's great. In fact, kitchens. <laughs> I am really looking forward to that. If, you know, we've been talking about maybe, you know, a new venue, a new home. That is going to be a really fun day. Rowie Bags and me and you going around Ikea with the company credit card. <laughs> You know, in Wolf of Wall Street, when Jordan Belfort's dad comes in and goes, fucking 430 grand, Jordan, on a fucking meal. And he's like, oh, you had the starters. You had the fucking starters. It's him. He had the starters. That's going to be like me and him walking around Ikea. Our new business manager's like, I don't understand how you can smell two grand on lamps. <laughs> fucking good lamps, though. We lamps need are them, don't expensive. You? I know that now. Rugs. Right. Why are rugs so expensive? You stand on them. Not in Ikea, though, are they? Everywhere. No, right. you can get a decent rug for quite in uh, IKEA. Do you need to feel them as well? <laughs> yeah. You need to hold I like the to rub rug. my face on a rug. Oh, you, honestly. Like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> he's known for that. <laughs> that's what he's doing. It helps him sing his songs. He so, tries to remember the time he rubbed his face on a rug, and that's why he's like, Isn't this lovely? Doesn't it feel dead oh, nice? Isn't it made from wool? Would have been a better line. Can we go to Ikea? <laughs> There's a shop I do enjoy. I'll give you that. We've been and it was fun. We were, we were skateboarding. I don't like spending my own money. That's not good. Cuddies is great. I also like a range. Yeah. The range. There is a range. Yeah. Look at, I like going and looking at like toys. I'm a big kid of heart. Yeah. <laughs> the stationery. Oh, I know it's almost like comedian hack, but looking at the notebooks and the pens. <laughs> I don't buy them and write, but I look at them. Steals them. You love a range. Yeah. Paint. Spray paint. Mad. When we were doing this, the range was useful, wasn't it? When we were decorating this place. Yeah, yeah I do like a range. But food wise, I think Sainsbury's is my boy. I think I just I like the quality of it. Bit Tory, innit? Mm. What? Bit Tory. Yeah, it's a Sainsbury's in Ellesmere Port, so no. <laughs> it's the Ellesmere Port Sainsbury's. That it so cannot be Tory. Like they're like the um they're like sort of they are the Tories of Liverpool and you've got Tesco and Asda and it's like they're Lib Dem and Labour and if you're trying to rebel from the Asda, we'll let you have Tesco. But right. Sainsbury's is sort of, nah. What's yeah. Aldi, like the Communist Party? Aldi's the no. Green Party. Right. Morrison's is, uh, is there an old UK. person party? Yeah, you <laughs> Morrison's is UK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell a lot about a person by where they shop. I'm an Asda man, me. What's Walmart, the Illuminati? <laughs> Walmart is... So- Waitrose. Waitrose is the well, Illuminati. Walmart is sort of perfect for the Labour Party, isn't it? Because like, you feel like you're doing the right thing, but you know at the end of the day, you're funding hate. <laughs> this analogy is mad as fuck. But it works though, doesn't Bulldo, it? Bulldog, innit? Not really. Like, inch perfectly. Home and Bargain is the Socialist <laughs> Party, surely. 
I want bargains abstaining from the boat, I think. Yeah, just drawing your dick on it or something. Yeah. B&M's sick you as well. You ever done that? Ever spoiled your belly? When, when voting? Yeah. No. When, when else would it be? Go on. <laughs> when he's practising. <laughs> <laughs> the practice vote. <laughs> I've thought about it for the next election because, like, I, oh, stop with this shit! Stop with this shit! I can't hear you. Fucking slag off the Labour Party. I'm not going to. I don't listen. St- we need to beat these Tories. And I'm you going, going to I'm vote. I'm not arsed. I'm not arsed. You I'm need going to, be to vote arsed. for them. Good. But don't spoil the ballot. At one point, I wasn't, and I was genuinely going to shove it up my ass. That's not spoiling the ballot. <laughs> It'll be uh, fucking it, spoiled, <laughs> mate. <laughs> it definitely is spoiling the ballot, isn't it? What? And then put it back. Just put it in the photo thing. Right. Have my name have on. You ever, it. Have you ever voted? Yeah. You do realize you go into just like behind the curtain. Yeah. Or like sometimes not even that, just into like a little square. Yeah, he's going to stick the ballot up his bum and then put it back in the ballot box. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the plan. And how does that. Some poor pensioner that's volunteered at the fucking like voting stuff. Oh dear, what's this? Barbara, <laughs> it's happened again. That won't be the only surprise shite you've seen that day though, will oh. it? Because all people pee themselves a lot. Okay. <laughs> What would, he write, what would he write down? Because they have to register spoiled ballots, don't they? What do you say? Just put patreon.com slash pod. Everyone do that. Right. If you're voting in the next election. He's shaking his head. No, don't agree with this. Absolutely not. It's silly sh- idea. It's silly. What's the Welsh party? Plaid Cymru. I think we should run the next election. How much does it cost? Like two grand or something? We should run for prime minister. <laughs> run for prime minister. <laughs> That's Doesn't not even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> run for the party. What, what do you mean, run for prime minister? We are run to control the country as a party. We should run. For I'll pri- be the leader of the party. Right. We should set the party up. We've got nine thousand patrons. Uh, How much? Nine thousand people on the street. Jack and Labour have even got that. It's, I think it's like two grand to register. You know. Great. I'd rather waste it on rugs. But go on. Oh, I'm in. Well, Christmas this. number one your didn't quite go to plan. No, it didn't. So I think we could. You know, we could do this. So you're going to use that weird defeat and go, you know what we did there? We went for Christmas number one. Yeah, but Elton John's not running for Prime right. Minister, is he? No. No, he's not. <laughs> um, so you have to be nominated by 10 selectors from the constitu- electors from a constituency and it's a £500 deposit. I is reckon it- we can get 10 people from West Derby to give me a little thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll run in Westminster. Is what it... Oh, that would be more <laughs> satisfying. Is West Derby uh, Labour? The second, the second safest, safest Labour, Labour seat. seat in the country. Great. And we're proud What's of the constituency called? Is West it called West, West Derby? Derby? Yeah. All right, great. Yes. What's the Tory scouts? Is Southport. it like Crosby? Southport, Crosby. That's not so I think it's just Southport. No, it's not. You've got a ca- you've got a Tory MP in Liverpool. North Liverpool. There not, was a, not there was there was a Googler? Yeah, um, there was. I, one. I find it fascinating that people in Liverpool vote Tory, which is essentially self harm. I fucking. You gotta remember though, like when it comes to elections now, there's so much information fire that people are constantly, and algorithms make it easier to get the right info to the right people. And also, old oh, people. It was, was a it lot was, of old people vote Tory as well. Was it Sefton? It might be. Yeah. Like Walton. Walton Where do you want to run? Uh, I like the guy who runs West Derby. Actually, that Ian fella. So Ian Byrne. So not a not, yeah. Um, Find out where's Jacob Reese. Where's Jacob Reese yeah. Mogg? Where's his constituency? That fucking the Sefton cunt, the Tory Liverpool. We'll beat him. We we actually would as well. We'd smoke him. Imagine if he won a seat in Parliament like Ali G. Yeah. Walk in a fucking merchant. No? It'd be like fucking a, great watching me though. Like Ali G and did in his film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. <laughs> It'd be great watching me though at the dispatch box against fucking Bojo, wouldn't it? Dispatch. Because I've just got no filter. <laughs> Do you know what, what I mean? I was like, listen, lad. Everyone knows you're chatting shite. Your own fucking mates are talking about how much you're chatting shite. Look at them, they don't even fucking like it anymore. The roast of Boris Johnson. Yeah. I, I actually reckon, mate, me and you, just have a straightener. Whoever wins gets to be the Prime Minister. <laughs> You'd smash your head in. Boris Johnson would smash my head in. Yeah. I'd absolutely kick the living shit out of him. He struggles to stand up. He'd have something up his sleeve, literally. Like a big poison dart. You don't think I will. You don't think I'm bringing me axe. If things get airy, his hair's coming off. I'd batter Boris Johnson. If there's 10 people who want to, you know, give us the the nudge, don't watch this section. Yeah. Where's Jacob Reeves Mogg, the uh, MP for? The Liverpool fan. Where? No. Oh, fucking country bumpkin Tories. Liverpool fan as well. I don't know they're going to go for you. I'd love to de-seat that cunt. 
do you know what? Genuinely, if I seen him in the street, I don't think I'd be able to stop myself like shouting at him and like trying to get at him. Well, someone got arrested for that, didn't he? Last week or charged last week. I'd love him to turn up at Anfield, you know, because he's a Liverpool fan. His family, a Liverpool fan, Jacob Rees Mogg. I'd love him to try and stand on the cop. I'd love him to just turn up to like Liverpool, Southampton, three o'clock kick off. Just try and stand like just above the crossbar in the middle of the cop. Yeah. I think, think anything about Jacob Rees Mogg. <laughs> Gives off sort of like he's just buying a ticket off like Rob Thomas's brother. <laughs> <laughs> I really think he's he's hospitality. Direct to, yeah, he's hospitality through and through. He's like even there. I think he, he'd get his head punched then. Yeah, yeah, because Adam sits in hospitality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> occasionally he must have been to a Liverpool game. I don't think he will. He's an been. incredibly wealthy. Fucking. He's pro- he might have sat in like the director's box and no one knew he was there. But he couldn't sit in the ground, could he? He couldn't go now. Now that everyone knows, it, like, if it, people were like, there's Jacob rees he wouldn't get out yeah. of the stadium without, like, Getting people bummed. being very angry. And at least it would be a news. I'm not saying he'd get beat up. Get <coughs> it'd be a news thing, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know who's in those director's boxes. There's a way in and there's no, a way out. but they're in the main stand. And yeah. people in the main stand would be like, that's that cunt. Yeah, Kenny Dalglish wouldn't take that, mate. Just, he's the worst of them, isn't he? Kenny. Yeah. He's the, the, the representation <laughs> of every top, like that top down Tory aristocratic, like, well, Kenny of course we rule over you. We're better than you. Oh my God, I hate him. Have you ever seen a Let's video? Let's run in North Somerset. Seen a video when he's a kid? Yeah. Fuck me. There's I nothing haven't... more naturally oh. suspicious than a teenager who's like, I'd like to be a um, conservative MP. Lad, we'll show you the video on the break. Super cunt, and he's like 13. It's mad. Like Have you seen that video of Boris Johnson that's leaked? And no one's really done anything about it in the media. It's from about 10 years ago. And he goes, I've got a new policy, you see. So what you do, and he's literally talking to... Is it Paxman he's talking to? No, but it's someone like someone that. Someone like that. Yeah. And he goes, what you do, you just make so many gaffes that people don't know which one to concentrate on. And the media don't know which one to concentrate on. And you just pepper them. You just pepper them. And everyone... And you just idly walk by as they're all trying to figure out which, which one to concentrate on. And you just... You blindside the media that way. That's my new strategy. That's how I'm going to win. Uh, it works. Feel really proud of yourself if you voted for the Tory party at the last election. Thanks very much. Die. Um, oh, well. That's enough politics, isn't it? Yeah. But good luck to you. See you in Sainsbury's. No, but we can run. I like it. Be funny as fuck. First policy... It's the Asda, not just Asda. It's Omen Bargain again. First oh, policy. that's what you're leading with. Your mandate <laughs> is to change the name of Omen Bargain mandate, for yeah. everywhere. That's what we call it. It's fucking ridiculous that people are calling it Home Bargains, including the people at Home Bargains. <laughs> it's Ohm, Omen and Bargains. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eamon Holmes. What? Dan, what policy are you trying to push? Because you're our um, health secretary. Health you're, secretary. Your, your shadow health yeah. Oh, it would be such a problem. I'm so pro NHS that I'd be, I'd put the country in such a lot of debt because I, I love the I think it's so important. And the Tories are like, I'd go the other way because they're literally trying to suffocate it, aren't they? I'd just pump more money into the NHS. That's your policy. Oh, they'd, be gonna, they'd be giving out healthcare. They'd be like, well, I'll actually- pay for that by taxing top level red wine because oh. that's what all the Tory cunts drink. Good. So bottles of red wine, they're like 200 quid. They're four grand now. Nice. <laughs> to fund <laughs> treatments for alcoholism. Oh, there'd be no waiting lists on the NHS. There'd be doctors turning up at your house like, do you need anything done? Yeah. Because we haven't got anything to do. Just yeah, to I'm, do I'm voting for that. Yeah. Finn is the foreign secretary because uh-huh. he's Turkish. Yeah. What are we going for, Finn? Is that how it works? You have to be a foreigner. To do you know what I've just realised this second? Like, just this second. You two are both as foreign as each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's mad, isn't it? it is. So you can both be foreign secretary. Joint. <laughs> I love right, Adam's okay, question. Fine. Carl's nationality. You're not even British. <laughs> you. You're a. I'd put a hard border between England and Wales. Is it? Yeah. That's gonna. Do you know why that's a problem for me? Because Wales starts at the bottom of my village, and the Texaco <laughs> garage is on Sealand Road. Exactly. That re- Finn, I'm telling you right now, it really pissed me off. That yeah, means I all, that means I have to go to Shell. You're already fighting here. In fight, in party fighting already. You're a fucking disgrace, Foreign Secretary. New policy: forty tickets, a cap to twenty quid. Yeah. Oh, for nice. Premier League games, everyone can afford them, and you must offer at least three quarters of the tickets to people who live within twenty-five miles of the stadium. Like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. Just nice local, like, 
What about foreign players playing for the club? Sounds. All right, so all right, as long okay, as the cool. club. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. All right. Just um, want it to be everyone that I went to school with in the main stand. Oral sex Wednesdays. Oh, like oh okay. For men and it's women. Just, like, it's not enforced. It's just encouraged to suck dick any pussy on Wednesday. What? <laughs> right. Orange Wednesdays. Orange Wednesdays. Yeah, pussy yeah. Wednesdays. Yeah. Pussy and dick Or Wednesdays. get a good washing machine. Yeah, and if you suck your partner's dick or eat them out, you get two for one cinema tickets. <laughs> two for <laughs> Get three for two holidays. <laughs> Bring Jeff holidays back. <laughs> <laughs> He's the immigration. Second. Immigration! <laughs> I want them all out. <laughs> I'm not the immigration secretary, I'm the migration secretary. Get to Spain, you can. What are the sectors? Arts? Um, comedy is now above all uh, legal lockdowns. So even when there's a, another global pandemic, it's, it's illegal to shut down comedy clubs. Right. Mm, I nice. wonder where that came from in terms of your Because I'm a comedian. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, yeah. go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Alan Cochran will be voting for you. And also, pretty keen I feel on that. like you can argue comedy is key worker because people need to laugh. Yeah. When it's an air, airborne virus, though, and people, you know, are spreading it by laughing. That's, you could argue maybe there's a... Just box your comedians. Uh, cool. <laughs> oh, right, cool. cool, cool. You've got to keep the club open. All right, cool. <laughs> No laughing. <laughs> the temptation to start saying names there was <laughs> brutal. Is there um, any more sectors, though? Art? What? Uh, what are the sectors of the parliament? Business. We, it'd be great to make Amazon and Starbucks actually pay fucking... Do you yeah. know what I mean? We want, we want a trillion off both of them by Wednesday. Yeah. Otherwise, we're pumping a lot of money into Curry's and PC World. Yeah. And all we're going to do there is stock them up. Yeah. Oh my God, we do have printers. They're underneath the printers. Another things that we Brilliant. consider a bit Tory. Yeah. I think on the street, there's a certain, there's like 10,000 people nominated and they can street tax people for doing something a bit Tory. So like people wearing white socks <laughs> oh with trainees and jeans. Oh. Like you can go up to them and be like, bit Tory, that lad, that's 40 quid. 50 quid on the spot, fine. <laughs> and that just goes into. <laughs> You've got the gimp police. Yeah. F- you look like a bad gimp there. Yeah, come on. Anyone who goes on the spot, fines. Yeah. Into Pret, it's 50 quid to get into Pret. Yeah. That's the Tory tax. What? To get into Pret and Mall. That's all right, Pret and what are you talking about? It's the Tory of all the coffee shops. No, it is. No, it's no. not. It's fucking absolutely fine for a bit of a pastry. What's the Tory They're like co- the morally right ones as well. They're What's like really left wing, actually. Oh, we got it wrong there. 50 quid for <laughs> Pret and Monje. It just sounds As if it. anyone's going to be like, do you know what? I have to pay it because Pret's so good. And also, you know, the big corporations like Starbucks and Amazon and that, that are avoiding the tax all yeah. the time. They have to pay tax daily. So we have a look at how much people have bought in the UK and we just take a, a 40% off it. And it's just like, that's ours. That. Daily. They, yeah, I want them to pay tax. can't lose track on it. Right. The business sector. Right. I think that's why people... You're going to make Amazon and government... Starbucks pay cash in hand at the end of the day. Yeah. Like they're working on a building site. Yeah. Listen, you fucking... Come on. Let's have it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think that's how they're getting away with it. In cash. Our government are losing track of who owes them what. Right. I want to be the chance... Like a drug dealer who's got... They've given too many people tick. That's what it is. Yeah. Whereas if they make them pay for it on the day. Yeah. I'll be Chancellor then. This feels like a good job. A lot of ha- cash coming in. Chancellor and Health Secretary. I'm going to, can I, I want to be Minister with two you portfolios. Be, do you want the big red bag thing? Uh, I do, I'd like the big <laughs> red bag. With you guys. I'd like the Amazon money in cash every night. That'd I, be great. I also think that some of us might have to double up on jobs here because it might just be us five initially. Okay. What's Steve doing? Steve, what do you want to be? Edden. Steve's the editor. <laughs> <laughs> can I do the episode? No, Steve can be the. Um, Who's the fella in the in the hey, the fella with that? No. The speaker of the house. He's the speaker. He's of the not house. part of the party though, is he? That's no. an independent. Yeah, but we make. He's him. the umpire, isn't he? Run the world. Sir Lindsay Hoyle. Is that his name? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's great. I yeah. really love it. he's dead northern. Prime Minister, sit down. I don't know how he got that <laughs> fucking gig, but he's the most northern man ever, and he's the speaker of the. the I just wish house he was more honest. Who? M, Sir Lindsay Hoyle. He's fucking... What are you no, talking about? What I mean he's is, absolutely great. No, I know he's good, but I think what is missing from the House of Commons, right, for me, <laughs> is swearing. Right. I think anyone who doesn't swear when you know they absolutely do in their private life is just lying, in a way. They're presenting a false persona. And I think it'd be so much better if he was like, oh, no. Boris, sit the fuck down. You're doing my fucking head in, mate. Right. He's trying to talk. He does actually have this accent. He's That's... trying to talk to you, and you're not even fucking... You're not even answering the questions. You've been a right fucking cunt all day. Shut up, listen, and answer the fucking question directly. Stop fucking dancing around it, you fucking 
Scarecrow headed oh, twat. Something very satisfying about a northern man bollocking Boris. That That's what it good. should be, though. Do you remember when Dennis Skinner got thrown out for calling David Cameron Dodgy Dave? Yeah. yeah. I call him Dodgy Dave. And he went, you know, after Burko was like, you're going to have to take that back. And he went, I'm not taking him back. He's Dodgy Dave. And he got thrown out of the fucking commons. I don't think you can call someone a scarecrow headed twat. Yeah, well, things are changing. I think we're going to be... What's the party called? That have would be so much party. better if they made the Houses of Parliament more honest like that. You, you wouldn't have to do it like Tuesday afternoons. You could make that prime time Saturday night telly. A lock People would stay in for it. Right. So we need to also... There's a second house, isn't there? The Lords. The Lords. So who are the esteemed people? Well, I'm a Lord but now. More exp no, you're not. You're in the Commons. No, but I'm a Lord. And I think got me a Lordship for Christmas. Oh, so I can do oh right. Well, you're... I don't think you can't, you can't be a lord in the Commons. New 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 law. I, I'm the prime minister. Right, I'm cool. the law. He's basically so far away from being a totalitarian like leader. <laughs> new law. And we're gonna have people going around saying you look like a bad gimp, and we'll call them the SS. You know, <laughs> super scousers. The super scousers. <laughs> um, Harry Robinson. Who, who? No, no, no. You, they're the lords. Lord, no, they're older. They're always older lords. Who are the esteem? Like who? Are the more mature people. Kenny Dalgleish will make him a lord. Can he fuck? Rafa Benitez is quiet now, isn't he? Can he fuck as well? He can... Duncan Ferguson? Lord can Benitez. He fuck? No. Who do you want then, Cal? Uh, from Everton. Wherever you want. Um, David my Dick first thoughts as well. David Dickinson. David Dickinson. He can do the antiques. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, they don't need to do the anything. They're just lords. They're like, just do you know what all the chairs they've got? He'll box them for a good place. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Lord Dickinson. Like, these are lovely. How much? How much do I take him off your hands? You can't. It's the House of Lords. There's two twenty. I can go higher. <laughs> two forty. I'm twenty. The new, the new, the new legislation for the NHS. I can go to three point four billion a year. Three point five. In cash. <laughs> cash. I'll billion. give him straight from Amazon. Er, Dave. There was do point a deal. one of a billion pound note there. Did you understand? Know <laughs> three point four. Yeah. Three point five. Zimbabwe like inflation. <laughs> when you're when all us lot are in charge. When I'm in charge, they'll be like <laughs> point one of a billion. What is point one of a billion? A hundred million. Is it a hundred million? million? No, it's not. It's also, it, new it's policy. A thousand is a thousand million a billion. Yeah. A um, it's different million. in America and the UK. I think America's a million million and the UK is a thousand million. Yeah. Um here's another one. Numbers. If you can prove you're truly skint and it's not your fault, you just fallen on hard times. You can turn up to any supermarket and you get a 10 minute supermarket treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So it's like you yes. two skins. Like, go on, 10, go. And they get to just run around. And like, what? How do you prove you to just turn up in like fucking Lonsdales? We'll figure that out. Long, long. <laughs> we'll if you turn up in Lonsdales, you're like, oh my God, you can have 15, go. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Supermarket sweep. Yeah, like the pen old people had Tuesday mornings, didn't they, in the lockdowns? They had an hour of where they were meant to be shopping on their Doing own. Doing the Tesco by us now. Nine till ten, you can't buy anything. The tills aren't open. So I went in to buy a memory card and it was like half nine. She went, oh yeah, you can't buy that till ten. I was like, well, you're open? She went, yeah, it's just for... On what day? Sunday? No, it was in the week. She went, yeah, it's just for browsing. Carl, what is happening to you in a customer service setting? You've been refused at entry at a restaurant. They basically went, yeah, you can't complain. And now Tesco by us, Tesco Daisy. It's open ten till ten though. They just open at nine to let people Yeah, it's in. to let old people go in and pick what they want. They take the time and then they buy it at ten. But you're acting like that's not a good policy. No, I'm not saying it's not good. You I'm seem pissed off by it. Because I was. It was half night. I wanted to sit my car away from to fucking turn the tail on. Just <laughs> let me buy it. Change the rules when we're in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck old people. Get right. it at eight. <laughs> See you at the next election. <laughs> See you at the next election. I mean, that's not going to happen because I do the admin for everything and I can't be asked. but... <laughs> It is. If we get round to have it. A way if we get hey, will you sign us up as an official political party, please? <laughs> <laughs> and will you do the graphic for us? <laughs> <laughs> Was it going on Patreon? <laughs> right. Let's have a break. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to let you know about our lead sponsor, Manscaped.com, the best in below the belt men's groom. And join the over 4 million men worldwide using men's below the belt groom from Manscaped. And Valentine's Day is coming up. I've got a little bit of opposition here. I reckon we need a new national holiday. I think February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, should become national. In fact, no, worldwide 
shave your balls day because let's be truly honest valentine's day all the bells and whistles of it is for the woman all a man wants is to get sucked off and that is only really going to happen if he's got a nice trimmed pubic region so you need the manscape performance package 4.0 with the amazing uh, Lawnmower 4.0, which is honestly one of the best bits of kit. We got sent them when uh, Manscaped became a sponsor. They're a phenomenal bit of kit. You don't get nicked. You've got a little light on it. It runs forever. You can use it in the shower. You've also got the weed whacker for your nose hair because ladies do not like a hairy fucking nose. You also get extra gifts. There's like a shed travel bag, which is really nice. Anti-chafe, like, uh, what are these? Like, it, like boxes by Manscaped. The boxes are amazing. I actually personally love... The ball deodorant and the toner he as does. well. And they've smelt better ever since you started My using balls it. smell fucking lovely, mate. Well, no, the guests comment. <laughs> <laughs> look, treat your missus to getting you one of these shavers. Your dick will look better. Your dick will look bigger. And honestly, she's going to want to touch it more because no one wants to touch a messy little pubic region. You've got like leftover cum in it. Oh, God. Good. <laughs> God, no. Really? Is that an issue? Is that the issue? <laughs> Go to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping with the code WORD20. What's the code, Adam? The code is WORD20. Shave your balls. Make your woman think you're great. Come in your pubes, eh? Problem. Some, sometimes. Have a wash first, yeah? <laughs> There's only so much shampoo can do. Yeah. Get the lawnmower 4.0. Hack, hack away. It is actually the best thing I own. It is. 100%. Mm. Mm. Are you ready to pod? Yes, I am. Oh. Why did you answer your own question? That, that's my line. Don't sing that Ginger Gobshite songs as well. Elton John. Yeah. Why do we take against Elton John so much when Lad Baby was definitely the problem? He didn't see him the problem, did he? And he, because he was like, he oh, definitely well, I'll, was. I'll help him. That's what they both said. Actually, it also turned out that a mixtape dropped by a band from the 80s was a problem for us because they finished 97th. Yeah, fuck them as well. Don't <laughs> sing their songs. Don't sing any hundred popular I've gone songs. back to not hating Elton John, by the way. I've never hated them. It's just funny. Well. Elton John, yeah. you're welcome on the couch anytime. Mate. Oh, that, I, I don't watching. think that'd be good. Huh? I just don't think okay, it. You're having it's a great Saturday morning, Elton. And if you uh, want to come on the couch, you're welcome. Don't come on the couch, though. <laughs> See you. You meant see you meant jizz. That's not what you meant. Spunk. <laughs> Carl. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, if Elton John got in touch and was like, look, I'll 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 be a, a guest on the pod, but I want to be able to come on the couch. Literally jizz on it. We we would let him do that. Yeah, of course we would. Who what's the level of celebrity where you're not allowed to jizz on the couch? Rob Thomas. Oh, mate. Rob Thomas isn't allowed to sit on the couch again. <laughs> <laughs> what um Unless his brother's got a ticket to the game, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. From before, We've actually been asked a couple of times recently to get Rob back on, so we will get Rob back on. Um, Fuck him. <laughs> Weak. Um, I, what, who who can jizz on the couch and who can't? Yeah, I mean, you've got to be a certain level of celebrity. 100,000 followers? Really? 100,000 followers, and as long as they do a feed post for us on Instagram. No, we need it. Square thought 100, over 100, it. 100,000 oh, followers, you're going to have to wipe it down yourself. Steve? Can our job do it? Is he still alive? Uh, is our job? Hey. No, next to Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Could he jizz on the couch? I, th I don't even really know who he is. He's a Bond villain. Is, is he little... really? Carl has been in the weirdest mood all year. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> could our job do it? <laughs> Kevin um, Webb's good. Mother Teresa could spaff all over the gaff. She's dead. Um, he's like Kevin Webster. He's just a man, isn't he? He's yeah. just Michael Lavelle. Yeah. He's not famous. But he was like, hey, oh, come on. But I'm coming on the sofa. With me cock. Not coming on sofa. <laughs> coming on the sofa. <laughs> do you want to do some questions? Yeah. Uh, we've got one from uh, Rob in Deeside, North Wales. Oh, Hi, Liz. Just been again. to see Rob Becker in York last night. And can confirm Adam was bang on with saying they're all entitled twats. Pissed up Nan shouting. People just rudely having conversations and taking photos with Flash during the show. But the fucking worst was one cunt who had to laugh five seconds after everyone else and sounded like Elmo getting fingered. Just waiting for Rob Beckett to say something to her. Sorry for the rant, but uh, someone needs to have a word. We've been to see hundreds of tour shows around the Northwest, but this was the first time coming to York to see a tour show. And my missus said straight away, Adam was right about York. York is 
a shithole. <laughs> it's not. It's where really, it's a really pretty, pretty shithole. Yeah. There where humour goes to die. I'll I'll say this as many times you want me to say, and everyone who keeps DMing me, going, "Oh, I know you've added a third Leeds days on your tour. Could you please just do one in York?" <laughs> no, Leeds is further for me than it is for you. Come to Leeds. Come to Sheffield. Have a night out in Newcastle. Come and see me up there. Or come and see me take me special in Liverpool. Get on the fucking train and you come and see me. I'm not coming to your festering bumhole of a city. It's one of the worst places in the world. It looks really nice and then you've filled it with this weird combination of really posh old people and the most violently aggressive young people and it's this weird melting pot of rude cunts on both ends. There's young people full of cocaine and alcohol who want to punch your head in and there's old people who are like, oh my God, a scouser. How how did he infiltrate our city walls? You said, all oh, cunts, leave the city and then I'll have respect for you. But I'm not coming to see you. I'm certainly not doing a show there. It is a waste of my time, your time. It'll make me feel sad and it'll make you feel like you've wasted your money because it'll make the show seem shit and the show's fucking fire. My show's not the problem. It's the people you are surrounded by where you live. There's something wrong with the place. There's something going on. Fuck York and everyone in it until you leave. It's good for fudge though. Just on the plus side. Belt of fudge. Really good fudge. Tell you what about York, Yorkshire Tories. They know the fudge. Um, so that's a no on York, just to clear it up. Yeah. Can't find a venue at the minute. All right, cool. cool. <laughs> 2023. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a 2022 tour, but... If I do a tour date in York on, like, the next tour, if I'm so... Because my next tour is going to have a promoter band. If they're like, look, you've, we've done the numbers, you've got to go. The Barbican or something. Right. I'm going to film that date as well as the date I filmed for the special. And you can watch the difference and you'll see it in my face and the audience's reaction. I think we should all have an away day. All the patrons should have an away day in York and just make it weirdly good. And I'm like, yeah, here we are. And everyone's like, hey, I don't mean, he's like, eh. like off put by the fact that it's enjoyable. I think sometimes with people like Beckett, who is a mate of ours and a great comedian, He's famous with people that don't know stand up. Like he's telly famous, isn't he? Yeah, he's just, so the wrong yeah. type of bell and goes, I like Mel Beckett. Let's go and ruin the show. Whereas if you watch Have a Word, you know stand up. I I've, I get the sense. We did the new material yeah, last night. Yeah, but we've got a couple of bell ends in our ranks as well. It, but there's loads of bell ends everywhere, isn't it? But the, it was all patrons last night at the new material night at phase one. And they are the best audience. I fucking love it. I feel like Rob Beckett just doesn't have that. He has nanas, exactly nanas knowing him like, oh, it's from that telly thing. I just don't think they but know But he's also got watching. that young working class audience as well. He has got a bit of a melting pot, Rob. I've seen some of his shows. Um, so it's a bit of everything. Yeah. I think, he, I think he's quite happy with where he is and stuff. But yeah. That sounds awful though, doesn't it? That sounds yeah, rough. But that's not his fan base. That's fucking York. Right. There's so few famous people from York. Like there's loads of them, but I don't know. Because they all live Judy in Dench. quiet. They live in quiet comfortable, wealthy misery. It's Judy Dench and then not much else. It's like they're all really happy about being sad because they've got money to pay pay for their sadness. Guy Mowbray, though. Guy Mowbray is from York. Honestly. And John Champion. Talking about tours. Hi, Lids. Loving the work. Simple one. What would your um, Take Me Out Walk On song be? Big love. Keep doing what you're doing. That's from Max. I got bitches all on my dick every day. Sucking on my balls, licking on my balls. <laughs> bitches, you <laughs> they know. know. Stick it in their booty hole, my balls, my balls. Suck on my balls. If we were to do, I don't know, say a live show of Blind Date, I think that's what you should be walking out to. <laughs> Is that fair to say? Yeah. All right, put that one in the... Put that in the holster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be Adams, hasn't it? Can that be your tour walkout? Have you got a tour walk walkout song? It is normally. <laughs> God, did you? <laughs> it needs to be that. I get to sort that song. Ladies and gents, welcome to the Barbican Theatre York <laughs> for Adam Rose 2023 tour. Enjoy your fudge and enjoy the comedy. I've got bitches all on my dick every day. <laughs> You're that right, Adam. <laughs> um, Fucking it's normally it. place your hands by reef. You need to let that die, though, I think. It seems sad, though. Yeah, it's just a song. It still exists. Yeah. Um, what about the um, one you've been walking out, the Have A Word live shows? Uh, here Comes The Money. Yeah. But I just love the ego of that. The arrogance of it makes me laugh. 
Yeah. Here comes the money. Think, Here comes the money. I think that used to be funny, and now it looks like, all right, Adam, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was funny when we had 400 patrons. <laughs> yeah, now it's a bit like, all right, not bad. <laughs> Who's shopping at Sainsbury's? What would yours um, be done? What's your walk going to be? For well, I, I still love um, what we've been using for the live shows. Let me clear my throat. DJ Cool. Uh, 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 uh. Last night, I used Cochise. Cochise? I can't say it. I'm from Lancashire, and I don't think I'm meant to be saying the word Cochise, because it just sounds like... John Legend. No. <laughs> no, I was trying to say Cochise, but oh, thanks okay. for helping. I'm just trying to figure out what no, you're I'm saying. No, I'm from Lancashire. I've not had a stroke. Oh, <laughs> me. Um, <laughs> audio that? slave. Oh, you keep moving. And it's got. It's an amazing walk on song, but I think it's a bit too cool for a fucking tour show. I really feel like with, with walk on music, you can. It's got to be good music, and it can't you can't overstep it and be like, oh, I'm dead cool. No, like I've tried strong. to do hip hop before, and everyone's like, "All right, Dan, you are a fat forty-year-old." Remember? Yeah, but then it all, almost becomes parody at that point, doesn't it? Right. It's like obviously you're not really walking out to that. Yeah. I might try and make it more ridiculous with each tour show. We might try and make that fun. I might come out to like Kelly Clarkson Breakaway. <gasps> oh no! Breakaway. I just won't tell you, and na, I'll pick na, a random one. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I tell. Would you? Would you? Would you let me, I, I, if I let you, you can choose <laughs> the walkout music for my tour show if I can choose your walkout music for the tour show. And I promise you, I will have it, because it's all fucking podcast people that are going to be watching it. But Every would, night. Would you make... There's a change every night. Are you no, pick, no, no. It's the same one every one night. One song. Would you make the deal now? I think that's great. It's such a good opener, isn't it? Because I don't know what I want. Oh my god, we that's, made the deal! That's a good we joke. We made the deal. Like yeah. 220. Ah, uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. <laughs> 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 to get a Pizza Hut. Thank you. Oh, that would be so thing. cringy. Yeah. Daniel You're not Bob allowed to write your own piece of music. Yeah. And get <laughs> no, no, no. I said you're allowed to pick us up. Hoss, 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 That'd be us. No, because he'd go in the shoot. I know it. Talking <laughs> about fucking money, he would be in the, what's he called? The what, motor, what, music. The motor you, music. You should have put these things you're in. You're allowed to pick what music I'm. You're not allowed to record a special. I'm a big fat nonce. No, no, I'm a big can't. fat fucking nonce. I'm a nonce. <laughs> I'm a nonce. I'm no, a big I'm... fat fucking nonce. And I have to walk onto that with you recording that. Uh, no. Yeah, I know it's a no context have a word. I've also it. got a plan now. What? Me and Finn are going to film on and Adam will just pick it off Spotify. Right, well, it's got to be in a, a piece of music that already exists. It will exist. It will exist by the time <laughs> your talk kicks off. <laughs> We're not making our own. Right, okay, cool. Finn, let's get working. <laughs> Speak to Bob. We're booking in on the... the... Cool. <laughs> You can use a real musician. Carl, you're on lead guitar for us. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> Dan, do you think you're going to out-cunt Adam in this game? No, I don't, this is why... In fact, I, this he is can't what, possibly, can he? Because he, my tour kicks off next month. So whatever he does next month will be retaliated to in the oh, yeah. autumn. Yeah, and we're not making music for oh. the love of you tits. You can do whatever you want I'm to do. I'm picking a song for you. Okay. And, and you're going to walk right. out. But we shook hands that I could choose your walk on music. Oh. There was no caveats when the handshake was made. The Philharmonic. The Philharmonic. The, the biggest gig of your career so far. <laughs> slightly ruined by me being a fucking bellend. Yeah, but he's, it, it's funny, isn't it? It'll be funny. It will be. So it's good. As long as it's not like uh, shit. Suggestions to haveawordpod at gmail.com. If you've got any questions, if you've got any have a words, you want us to have a word with anyone, email me at haveawordpod at gmail.com. If you've got any suggestions for Adam's walk on music for all of his 45 date tour, 50 date tour, like there's a lot of times for Adam to hate me. <laughs> It'll be really good. Should I record something? I don't though? care how you get here, just get here if you can. <laughs> Oh no, the nine eleven DJ Sammy song. The the <laughs> oh no, the David Guetta George Floyd remix. <laughs> 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 this is for George Floyd. So shout out to his family in it. Where's he? Where's David Guetta from? 
That's what he sounds like in the video. <laughs> you yeah, see? Have you not seen it? I had to listen to his voice properly. I've seen it. It's fucking amazing. For all the wrong reasons. You can't get it off. Oh. <laughs> so it's dis- a hero. If All you're around us are familiar faces. <laughs> worn out faces. <laughs> Adam walking up. Ladies and gents, give it up for Adam Row. All around us are familiar That's why I fuck Joe, bitch, bitch you, you fat, fat motherfucker. motherfucker. Westside. Make money. <laughs> That's amazing. First off, fuck your bitch in the clip. Oh, oh, by the way, guys. I remember. If you give me a whatever song up, I'll make it work. Well, yeah. Even if it's Bitches me doing the cover. Uh, holes and tricks. <laughs> I can't. This album's dedicated. It's all the people that told me I never meant nothing. It's all the Adam's people lived above the building. I was out of a dream. I'm trying to call the police on me while I'm trying to make money for my and dollar. And you to me, magazine. And all the people in the struggle. Tom, oh my Tom God, I'm recording a parody of Mo Money Mo Problems with Mo Money Motif. <laughs> From before. <laughs> dun, From before. Dun, dun, dun. Amazing. Tom on back and song, back, uh, back and vocals. <gasps> No, I'll Dream cancel on. the tour. <laughs> you shocked having, me, and I'm not having Tom. No place your hand on my own. You are gonna wish I chose that song. <laughs> Tom's doing it's up by two. Parts. Tom Twistleton, DM me if you're up for being the lead singer on Dan. Oh, of course he's up. Well, so fuck for, your bitch. He's up for cleaning the couch. <laughs> we love you, After Tom. After Elton's meaning with his mouth. Oh, it's Carl. <laughs> Just. Just every time. Oh, Carl did there. It's that bus there. 2022. <laughs> oh! Carl's year of the spanner. <sighs> what about odd job? That is a phenomenal deal that you're going to regret suggesting. Uh, next question. No, but you, you're also going to make Dan go too far straight away as well. He can't possibly go further than I will. Because he knows if he does that I've got to go further. And he's got to be careful. Because I, so, I will match what you do and make yeah, it yeah, slightly yeah, yeah, yeah. worse. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I will take it slightly further than you do. Have you seen the CBB show with Justin called and Mr. Tumble called Something Special? No. Right. I'm thinking that might be a really good walk on music. Hello, hello. And, and it signs for all the disabled kids. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh. It's good to see you. Book a sign language person for the stage. Oh, yeah. Love it. I've got options. Can we book in with Bob? We're going to book in with Bob in the month. Oh, you've got loads of time. My tour doesn't launch till uh, it takes us a day. Third of September. Oh, you like an ass piano solo in your walk on music. Fourth in Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> See you in September. I'm so I'm go- I'm so happy that I'm uh, starting the tour in Belfast. That'll be a great time to first hear the intro music, won't it? Oh the yeah, you First you're ever it? tour gig out of the UK. Brilliant. Belfast. Boats a, and hoes. Belfast Belfast on a Saturday. I mean, you could get me murdered if you want. No, we won't do that. It's not Top Gear. God save our oh, gracious man. queen. No. Long live our noble queen. Not even singing that show. And I like the <laughs> Russian government. Half the crowd are up. Yes! <laughs> All wearing oh, Holland top. It might top. have to be God Save the Queen, you know. Oh. <laughs> you shock oh. me, and oh. and that's a song that already exists. We're not doing sectarian stuff. I just want disa- I want everyone thinking of disabled kids. You're going to get me sectarian murdered. I might have to do God Save the Queen, but we we're going to record it though. Tom Twistleton, we get Tom in. Uh, we get Tom in. We'll do it. Ass harps, ass pianos, and you'll hear rap with a rap face that Tom does. I regret my choices. <laughs> I forgot I started in Belfast. Well, no, we one don't date tour. We don't want him dead. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. We don't want you dead. Oh, oh. cheers, lad. So fucking good. Um, we've got someone who's got a bit of an issue, and I think we need to help solve it. Okay, is everyone pooped? Everyone's pooped. pooped. Let's have a fucking Red Bull in the break. Um, I'm all right, me. I'm yeah. a bit yawny. Yeah, same. Busy though, Anna. That's what I meant. Uh, a problem. Please keep my identity secret for obvious reasons. So here it goes. So you know when you're giving your girlfriend a good seeing to and you don't want it to end, so you start thinking of things. It. What are a turn-off <laughs> to keep you going? 
<laughs> well, as much of a fan as I am of the podcast and of Carl himself, I believe he brings a good balance and level of contribution. Thanks, mate. But his voice is so off-putting, it sounds just like my geography teacher, who is a massive beaut. Okay. So once... <laughs> Thanks, mate. So once I was well... This is totally... I've not made this up. So once I was well in my bird and was so close to coming, so I started to imagine Carl's voice, and it worked a oh. treat. It worked so well... It became my go-to coping mechanism, coping mechanism for endurance and performance. Now here's the problem: I have now associated shagging my bird and Carl's voice to the point where every time he speaks, I start to get a little erection. I've tried everything, even changing the thing I think about, but nothing works. Listening to have a word has become part of my day-to-day -day activity. I really don't want this part of my life to be over. So please, can you sack Carl for me? Nice one. Carl, you're gonna have to start doing the Chinese accent. I've got some advice. If he wants his bird to come, start talking in my accent. She loves it. <laughs> I see what he did there. I hope all the listeners and viewers at home do as well. He made out. You know. Uh, well, we can't sack him because he owns... You can't sack me. He owns 20% of the company. So ah, there's a major... company. He's unsackable now. Oh, <laughs> sapo. I mean, this is making a But he is a team player. <laughs> he is a team player. <laughs> oh, team. So he's decided that he's going to... Are you going to change your voice from now on? This is uh, from Rotherham. Oh, I just do it bad. You do Rotherham? Bad. Way. You do bad Rotherham. Bad way. Me no good at Yorkshire. No. So there you go, lad. Hope that helps. <laughs> it's back to horny now. Have you ever had to think of something to stop yourself coming? Carl. Carl's voice. It works a trick. I genuinely thought of Gail Plath. That, I used to do a bit on stage about it, but true. <sighs> She's fit here, lad. Gail Plath. What if that was your thing? What if you developed a thing for Gail Platt, though? Every time you put Carrie on, you come in your pants. <laughs> it's quite a thing, isn't it? You just you turn it on, and then you just come straight away. And you've got to really have a thing for Gail Platt. If you in, if you see her and you're like, from floppy to, like, oh, God, Gail! Well, the, the safest thing to do is to use a family member, isn't it? But then the problem is oh, if it doesn't no. work and you come quicker no. and you're like, oh, I've always wanted no, to bang my own nan. No. Don't think of family. No. Think of old Tory ladies, but don't think of family. Yeah, but they've got power. Oh, no. I, don't, I honestly don't think we've got an episode oh, over the, the last The Theresa May months. kink. <laughs> oh, former Prime Minister. <laughs> what do you think of, Dan, to stop the jizz? Um, I think of what Adam's going to do to me in Belfast. That would really affect my performance. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> last, I don't know. I just try and think of really uh, neutral stuff if I'm struggling, which is rarely... I think singing the about. national anthem would actually do it. Jack of Potatoes. Oh, yeah. Thinking of uh, that shitty anthem that we just have stood, to... Just stood there watching the kettle <laughs> boil. Right. I can't want to come. I just go to a little place in my head when I'm making a cup of tea on a Wednesday afternoon. Oh, no. it's a bit, but it's you a bit love touching appliances. Does it not turn you on a little bit? When you're like, oh, kettle. I'm not touching it. I'm just... Because right. you can't touch because it's literally boiling. It's right. the, the ones in Curry's arm boiling constantly. Aren't you're they? absolutely quite right. Get yeah, in yeah. the loft. What? Are you getting in the loft? Yeah, that that would work for me. Getting put, in the loft. Putting the deckies off. Uh, being on in the, the phone to Virgin Media trying to cancel your package or right. change it. Like I'll, I'll, Pulling I'll, the bin up from I the road. I can fuck a bitch all night long if I'm on the phone to Sky. <laughs> I think they'd hang up. It's like we've forgotten that people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> I can fuck a bitch all night long. <laughs> I bet you can't. That's exactly what we do. We I bet always you forget people are watching. I've seen you pass out through laughing. I bet you can't. Um, what else can we make? At, I just look at kettles. <laughs> Let's make a list of things. You're getting in the loft, ring and sky. Do you really hate getting in the loft? I do like getting in the fucking loft. It does my head. Every time I think, could be monsters and trolls up here. <laughs> That's not why I don't. <laughs> That'd be like, I wonder if there's monsters and trolls. <laughs> oh, no, there's not. It's just a loft. It's I empty. do often think, what if there's like. A refugee who's been housing himself up there. <laughs> Quietly. In your loft. But I'm out a lot, aren't I? So he could have to run in my house while oh, I'm out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my house is always in disarray That's anyway. I would never notice if someone's like moved he's he's Refugees are like that. Uh, they <laughs> they case out houses. They're like, <laughs> I just got to, I got to wait till someone goes out and then I live in the loft of this rented house in West Derby. Yeah, seems right. It's possible. I'm flanked in it. That's literally... She did. And Frank. <laughs> in it was in Ham. everyone's head. It was in everyone's head. But like, yeah. So like whenever I'm getting in the loft, I'm like, there could be someone up here. Like imagine just like they might not they might have gone out. But you might see like a sleeping bag and <laughs> some crisps. Gone out. 
<laughs> like empty crisp packets. You're and... home. I'll have to go out. Because I might have got out before I came home. Right. Imagine you just find like a little sleeping bag and a like a candlestick and like a load of empty packs of watsits and that. And you're like, I fucking knew I had not all them watsits. Always watsits with you. <laughs> Literally on the Patreon episode. But do your crisp ever go Somalian down faster pirates than... were like, yeah. yeah. Do your crisp ever go down faster than you know you've had them? So you... Um, right. <laughs> it's a refugee so, in the loft. <laughs> fucking hell. I swear to God, I bought a multi-pack and there's only six left. Fucking refugees. <laughs> Sick of loft refugees. This is definitely... I know you're up there! It's either rats, pigeons, or fucking refugees. <laughs> Some weirdly the, EDL. The, the problem is, for me, like, if he just let me know, I'd be like, do you know what, mate? There's a spare room there. Can I have it? Oh, yeah, because you're dead sound like that. I you, am? Yeah, if a loft refugee poked his head out the ceiling. <laughs> Hello, Adam. Sorry about the uh, chips I've been no. nicking. <laughs> no, but, like, if he knocked on me door and was like, listen, lad, I was going to live in your loft without you knowing. But you've got a spare room there. <laughs> Do you mind? I'd be like, I can't Yeah, that's definitely what you'd be like. He uh, thinks this refugee looks like Lucy Pinder, though. <laughs> <laughs> if Lucy Pinder's ever need in seeking refuge, come to ours. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? Because we don't do loads for charity, but there's something we'll stand by. If Lucy Pinder, if you just give two pounds a month to Lucy Pinder, she can have loads of what's it's in Adam's loft. <laughs> They defo, look, there's someone eating me crisp is all I'm saying. <laughs> you? <laughs> Imagine that was the first How, thing Why do we go to? weirdly political? Refugees. Not okay, political. Refugees. Why is it political? Just, refugees exist and they, they need to find it's just for, to It could have been homeless. Could have been a homeless, but it's homeless people living in my loft. No, it's refugees. But, Calais, up the M6, up my fucking ladders. But a homeless person who's in my loft is a refugee, aren't they? Because they're seeking refuge in my loft. Yeah, technically. I didn't no. say asylum seeker. I said refugee. It's someone seeking refuge. So they don't have to be from, like, another country. Don't try and get me on a fucking technicality. Homeless people aren't refugees, you belts. They are me. if they're in your loft eating your water. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's what me and Adam would be arguing about, is there's a fucking homeless guy <laughs> fucking around with the Christmas deckies. <laughs> I think the bigger point is that there's a dude in your loft. <laughs> well, no, where is he? Homeless or refugee, Dan? This is what we'd be in the House of Commons. Let's have some crisps and talk about it. The house of left. Uh, non left. Oh, because Keith set them all. Keith the refugee. <laughs> Keith. Why has he told you his name? What? Has he told you his name? What? Or have you named him? In this situation, he's told me his name. Right, hello. This is fictional and hypothetical, just to let you know. <laughs> I've hit my bullshit limit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Let's have a break. Get a bite and get Cal Freeze, you know? Yeah, bro. Wag Wag Lids, we've got to tell you about one of our sponsors, NordVPN. They're offering our listeners, our fans, a two-year deal plus one month for just $89, which is about 65 quid. That's 70% off the usual price and works out at £2.60 a month. What, Adam, what is a VPN? What's Nord? A VPN is basically a way to lie to your computer or your laptop and say, hey, I'm not in fucking Liverpool, me, mate. Nah, I'm in Syria. I'm in the Antarctic, I'm in Brussels, I'm in Mexico. Wherever you feel like being, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be online? You can tell a VPN, put me there, and it will give you access to that country's version of the internet. And you might not think that's any different, but you're full of shit, Susan, okay? If you're in America, you get access to American Netflix. Syrian Netflix, Susan! <laughs> Have you not watched Syrian Netflix? <laughs> it's wicked! It's honestly the best thing I pay for, a VPN. Being able to decide what country you want to be in and what you want access to. It's especially great, as we've said before, for the Premier League footy. You can get all the three o'clock kickoffs because oh, yeah. they're shown all around the world, just not in England. You can get them with NordVPN. And I'm abs- they're my- I'm so happy that they're on board as a sponsor. So it's nordvpn.com slash have a word. Use our custom code, have a word. That's nordvpn.com slash have a word. Custom code, have a word. Go ahead, Susan, you fucking slag. Hey. It's good to be back. Big what what are you drinking, Dan? What are you drinking? A uh, beverage. What's it called? It's called, it's a refreshing energy drink. And when they start paying you, you'll tell. Because they've sent you free stuff, but they're not paying. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this on the pod. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, this is how you reach brands. 
you, yeah. you sort of it's belittle called, them publicly. <laughs> belittle them. <laughs> yeah. Pathetic budget you've got. Fucking what is it? Shite, shite gamer, shite aid. Um, no, it's called gamer aid. All oh, right, all right, guys. What are we doing? Bleep They're that just, out. Yeah. I'm paying for that. <laughs> it's twelve grand now. <laughs> of Diet Coke paid it's you? 180 milligrams. No, but I feel caffeine. like I feel like Diet Coke. You know, everyone already knows what that is. Right. When oh yeah, so don't get try and get money off one of the biggest companies in the world. Yeah, because they won't give you it. It's just the little independent companies and energy you have to pillage. An energy drinking nosley. Cows in <laughs> <laughs> Yet another retarded bit of the podcast. <laughs> and there's the first album of this week's episode, and that's you know, welcome. Thank uh, you. How are you? I am good. I had an absolute stinker getting up here, though. You did. I'm I surprised did. you're the first person yeah. who's done this. Tell us what happened, Carl. Yeah. So I got the train up. Yeah. And uh, so I thought that this that I was supposed to get in at two past two. Yeah. Right. And so I've decided <laughs> I'll schedule my piss break perfectly here. I'm gonna nail this. Yeah. So about one minute to two. It only takes me about a minute, right? So, but anyways, I got up. Go to the toilet, <laughs> and now now going in going in here, they've got like loads of these buttons. It's not just a shut the door. It's on the train, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not just a shut the door and turn the lock, and you're locked in. Oh, there. things have changed. There, there's lots. Of, there's lots of fucking buttons now. So I'm looking there. I'm scrambling, trying to figure out how to lock this place first. It's so one anyways, minute. I've figured two. that out, right? <laughs> and now we're looking. It's about one minute past. But I haven't actually thought about that in my head. I'm still in the mode of this is only going to take a minute. So I've gone taking a piss and I've come out, I've sat down at my seat thinking, right, we should be pulling up any minute. And as I, just as I'm thinking that, it starts to pull away. <laughs> and I go, oh, maybe that wasn't my stop. There's no way that could have been my stop. Maybe we're running a few minutes behind. And then this old lady next to me is like, we've just left Runcorn and then I'm off to Lime Street. Does she Fuck. work for the train or she's just announcing No, it? she's just letting the whole <laughs> fucking quiet train know. Um, yeah, Imagine so that. I missed it and I went all the way there. I right, thought you'd rejected run corn as a concept. I took one look out the window and said, just, we'll just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, this can't be right. I'm yeah. not into it. Yeah, no. So uh, yeah, I was sort of 40 minutes so you had the taxi driver was buzzing when I told him I was coming here. Oh, really? It was a, yeah, it was quite, it was like 50 quid. Taxi. Oh, money wise. Oh, I thought you meant he was like, have a word. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> it's just like, what mate? I'm going over the fucking bridge. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This fast tag finally comes in fucking useful, mate. He sounds southern. Let's go. The via anxiety glossip. that that would give me, like I know I'm often late for coming here, but that's because I know I don't have to be on time here and things are fine. I tend to be like very early for stuff, don't I? Yo, she's so early. Come on, like if we're going, if we've got a table booked in town for eight o'clock, I want to be like on our way at half seven, and it's only a fifteen minute journey. Come on. Yeah, you're not wrong. I am like that. So getting going for a piss at one minute to two for a two minute past two. <laughs> Yeah, Starts wild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've learned my lesson now, so and next time I'm and in you didn't corn, notice I won't make that mistake. You didn't notice the train was stationary at all. No, I it just I, I was so caught up in trying to find the lock-in <laughs> button that none of that really <laughs> played into my mind. I just thought I'd I'd nailed it to be honest. I what I don't like about those you, uh, is it one of those like doors Revol that reveal yeah. yeah. And what? and they start talking to you as well. They do banter. Yeah. yeah. Oh Why? Go God, wash yeah. like hopes and dreams down the toilet. Uh -huh. yeah. Just put piss and shit in this. We don't want any of your clothes. That's yeah. not, that it's not quite right. <laughs> it's not, it's no, Welcome audition. to Liverpool trains. Don't shit. Just shit. <laughs> don't put needles down the toilet. Not again. <laughs> don't drown an enemy in the toilet. <laughs> I had them audition for that role, but they were like, no, it's too much. I actually did audition for the, the Virgin train voiceover thing. Did you? Yeah, you did, no, he really did. No, I actually did when I had my voiceover agent. No, no you didn't. No, no, he did. I, no, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Genuine. Oi, and here's another one. You've got a voiceover agent. <laughs> Bullshit. No, I haven't anymore. I had a voiceover agent for a bit. And then when I signed with my comedy manager, they were like, you've got to sign with us for everything. So you need to leave him. What? I had a voiceover agent called Neil. He worked for CVGG. Oh, he was proper. Called. Yeah. He was obviously right. pretty shit if you didn't get it, though. <laughs> no, I think I was shit. Oh, His job, right. essentially, is to get me the audition, isn't it? Oh, right, okay. And I think they wanted someone to be, like, all personal and stuff, and I was just like, listen, lads, oh, this is for piss and poo only. Did you I, go off script? I did freestyle a bit. <laughs> shit, <laughs> piss, and poo. I'm not reading this fucking script. It's shite. That's in the recording. <laughs> <laughs> the old takes, he left it in. <laughs> but what I don't like about those things on the... They're now the Avanti West Coast, aren't they? They've took all the old Virgin trains and they now run the line. They're the yeah, company. Man. 
But like when you go in, the door slides open, and then the way you wee, it like because it is hard to lock them. Your dick is facing the door, yeah. And you would think they would design it so the toilet's the other way, so that you're facing away from the door when you're pissing. Because when it accidentally opens and you've got your dick out, which has happened to me once, <laughs> I just spun and pissed all over the toilet. <laughs> You're making it out that like you close the door, then piss against the closed door. It, oh, you like, almost are though. You know, it's, it's, you're, it's, you're, it's like angle. a foot, foot away from it, and right. it's the anxiety that gets you. How am I getting stage fright when there's no one here? Yeah, but it's the anxiety of knowing there could be that poor lady could be stood. I've right done there. it, mate. I've pressed the button, and some nana had. <laughs> I, this is from way back. We mentioned this on the podcast. Press the button. It was not locked. <laughs> And it just, I just wait for a bit and it just went. Did you have a look? And I saw someone's grandma having a was and she went, oh, like it was the worst day Did you go of in? her old life. But was it though? Because oh, what? how do you know she's not a widow who just wanted some company and was like, I'll wait in the toilet. And I'll, oh, I didn't lock that. She yeah. Welcome. Oh, oh, God, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because you have no idea how anyone's <laughs> nana has ever fucking worked. You mentals. She was just an old woman who had her fucking wrinkly biff out. Like, oh, no. It was the worst day of her pensioner life. And you're like, maybe she fucking wanted it, damn. Maybe she was like, I'm leaving that unlocked maybe some <laughs> young fucking cock will come in here it was just an 82 year old who was about to have a fucking aneurysm because i saw her old fanny did you get your cock out stop fucking up the pod you evil little shit carl you 2022 menace <laughs> It was awful. I, I and I didn't. I couldn't do anything. You're I, very I, passionate about what, it. Was, I yeah. saw an old lady with her fucking knickers round her ankle. It was awful. What I should have done is lean in, Carl. I should have leaned in. What are you doing with your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> come here, you look. Come I know what you're like. Hey, Adam was right. <laughs> it's, I don't not know where, the, it's not been the same since Frank left, has it, love? Come what, here. Where her G spot was? <laughs> Rick riding. I should have locked it from the inside, but I just went, Aah! Did you actually Awful. see any any minge? No. <laughs> he did. Oh, you did. Just that was like a, a Vietnam scared veteran. Scared old lady. Fuck. Awful. But she was sat. So but, rough. Like, you sat facing away. I suppose that's better. If you're having a shite, then no one's going to see your dick because it's facing away. Oh, it's just so bad. So bad. I just, what's wrong with a lock? Fucking closed yeah. lock. Well, yeah. Back to the original point. Old I suppose school. That, that's the best way to go about it, really. <laughs> Anyways. He's got a voiceover agent. What other <laughs> auditions did you do? Why have you never told me this? Um, I did. He got me an advert audition as well that wasn't just a voiceover. Right. Which was for, um, I'm sure I've told you about this. It was for Tesco. Have I told you about this? Mm, no. so, have you? I'm pretty sure I have. I've definitely told it on another podcast. So there was like a thing with Tesco, but it was like Jimmy's steak dinner. And I, I was up for the role of Jimmy. This is true, right? So I had to make a steak dinner and I had to oh, do yeah. the advert. And like, it was supposed to be for like Valentine's Day or Father's Day or something. I was like making steak dinner. And then I got down to the final two for it. And it was a lot of money, like a lot of money. And I was like, oh, I think I might get this. And then I didn't get it. And to this day, Jimmy's steak dinner, the advert is at the very front of my local Tesco. So every time I go shopping, this is partly why I'm a fucking Asda man from the first half. It's because I have to walk past the cunt who beat me to the fucking thing and it's lo he's looking at me and I can see him through the poster looking at me going, you'd have loved this 25 grand, wouldn't you? Yeah. But I got it. Could have had a deposit have, for a house. Have you ever been successful in any of these auditions? Uh, I, I did the nationwide TV advert a few years ago. I did stand up on the bank and advert. Oh, okay. And I was very... I, it was, was that good? It was... It was... It was... Uh, it paid well, Cal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, you know, I think it sold at me a handful of tour tickets, but I think a lot of people, everyone hates everyone on adverts eventually because you're on all the time and it's, it, you just end up being the twat off the advert. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I got a lot of messages like angry. You, you're a YouTuber. You must get as well as a lot um, of, like, loads of positive stuff and then the few that are horrible. Yeah. And it was just, why is this fat, lazy eyed scouse cunt on my telly again talking about <laughs> fucking saving bastard money? He's doing my fucking head in cop eyed cunt. And that what was, they don't know me. is, what, <laughs> that was just Carl, yeah. <laughs> and what they don't know is, that Adam's not going around the circuit doing very mild humour about savings. Like, yeah. it, it's because Halifax was like, could you write something about money or banking? 
So everything that and was on there was nationwide really idea like that they'd emailed me and stole that idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, nationwide, yeah. But it, it's not like people got annoyed, like going, "This wasn't very good." Like as if the advert company were like tone everything down and then tone it down again and yeah. then tone it down again. Well, yeah. it's not a great advert for for your comedy, though, is it? No. Could you imagine that then they see, oh look, he's doing a show here. Oh, uh, I saw his, I saw his bit on the well, telly. I that got, was shit. I got a walkout in Wolverhampton because of that. A, a woman and a fella left, and I was like, "Where oh. are you guys going?" I'm upset. She was like. Uh, we seen you on the, the advert, mate, but it's just not the same, is it? And I was like, it absolutely is not, love, no. You can leave, that's fine. What kind of fucking knobber goes to see adverts live? <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you going to see this year? 2020 is a big big year post-COVID for live stuff. Oh, we love loads of adverts. <laughs> really can't wait to see the Cravendale Milk guy. A big tour. <laughs> fucking idiots. Is he sick? Have you been asked I to do some stuff? I don't see the Have you been asked to do some stuff? Oh, I, was in, I was in a, a yeah, I, I was in a Lynx advert, actually. <laughs> and, uh, Did you get some free links? Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my but, god! I, but now the flatmates, everyone's sort of fed up of it because it's no just more Africa. Yeah, 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 links Africa. But anyway, so I, I've gone. Uh, uh, I've gone to do this shoot. Right, they paid me quite a bit of money yeah. to be on this. I'm buzzing. Do. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Me, Anthony Joshua, H, and Chunks. H. As well, if you know Chunks. Yeah, yeah. H from H. Steps. H. 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 The rapper. Oh, oh I think yeah. we're from Steps. Oh, yeah. so did I. <laughs> no, the you rap, did. The rapper. No, age. I did. <laughs> I'm not you messing. Are so fucking. I even I'm forty and I, I don't know who he is. Was. I do. I was doing it as a joke. I wasn't doing bits. Oh, chunks right. and young Philly. So yeah, I went out from no, this. Uh, no, just ch just chunks on this one. From the beat. Right. Yeah. So, anyways, all, we're all in there and we've all done our bit. I'm like this hot st uh, hot dog stand guy, and they've they've shown me a the, the final thing. We've got her manager sent across. This is the ad. I've gone nuts class that'll look so good and they're going to be playing it in between premier league games and even some of the champions league stuff i'm like wow what a moment anyways boys come round you got to come and see this ad it's supposed to be on at halftime in this premier league game so everyone oh, comes you did around a premier no, well not house. a premier well we got your mates the, <laughs> the boys come around to watch the football anyways but i was there like you know we, we, we could be seeing me for the first time on a big on the big screen here everyone comes sit down right so Into watch it cinema. here comes the links ad <laughs> There it is. <laughs> I was supposed to be on five seconds into it. They've cut my bit out. Oh. <laughs> and and, and uh, 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 just a little take. Oh, I, I'm sure I'll be in the long version when they, when they show that one. Just never. Did they cut chunks out? Never heard. Just me. Eight was in. I got my, I got my bag. There you go, then. Uh, yeah, them. I got no, no, no. But I want I I the hot dog uh, hot dog man should have been in that fucking. Ad. <laughs> were you the, were you the star of the thing, yeah. Well, I thought I was. Yeah, that's yeah. how I felt. You know, when I was watching it back, I was like, I've pulled off a masterclass here. <laughs> Artistically, you're like, no, his story needs to be told. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mustard lad. Important. I will never wear Lynx Africa again. <laughs> On, after this, is yeah. That yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, anyways, that was the that was the time I was supposed to be in an advert, but yeah, that was pretty depressing. My mum texted me, I thought you were supposed to be in the ad. Fuck off. I'd I'd have loved if mine had got cut. Genuinely, if they'd have just paid me and gone, we're not showing it. And that is actually what happened in the end. I don't have we told this on a public yet? <laughs> so I put a, a stand up clip out. Oh yeah, yeah. And the people who sorted the adverts out were like oh that stand-up clip is far too offensive and he's linked mm -hmm. with our brand and that can't he needs to delete it now and i said no like i'm not deleting my stand-up you knew who you hiding yeah and they went oh no take it down and i went no it, you can't tell me what i can and can't put out it's just not happening where where so what this is up on like youtube or something like that it was on YouTube and like Twitter and stuff. Oh, nationwide okay. throwing the dick around a bit. Oh, right, okay. And you I work for nationwide now. I was like, yeah. no, I'm not doing it. And now if you Google, if you go on YouTube, sorry, and search for those banking adverts, every other one is still there, but all of mine have been deleted. After you. Really? Yeah, mine That's aren't there. so funny. Nightmare. Yeah, fucking nightmare. So all for right. all we know, that nationwide thing could have never happened. It could have, <laughs> yeah. It definitely got the bank. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love getting paid to not do stuff. It's fucking brilliant. I've, I've got a happy memory of getting a gig cancelled. I just got on the motorway and I was just coming up to the first junction past where I get on the motorway and the promoter rang and went, I don't know where you are, but go home. It's been cancelled. I was literally straight onto the slip road. It couldn't have been time. I was like round and round about ringing my wife like, I'm coming home. I'm going to be home in 15 minutes. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Full fee. Get the fuck in. Not that I don't love doing stand-up, but getting paid to not do stand-up. Getting paid to drive to junction 15 and back was fucking great. Loved I, um, it. 
I've got a question for you, Cal, because yeah. uh, Finn, our brilliant assistant producer, he's, he's now our sort of in-house researcher as well. Yeah. So we did a little bit of digging. Uh, we haven't found out anything too bad. But you have lived in many countries, apparently. Yeah, that's sort of why my accent's just fucked. You just sound like quite well-spoken Londoner to me. No. no I hear, no, a, twi- no, I hear no. a twinge. No, you sound like a, a forces child. Oh, like, it's interesting you say that. Bases. I'm not, but yeah, but so, no. Where have you lived? So Tell us where you've yeah, lived. Yeah, I lived in, when I was three, moved to Vietnam, lived there, so back in Nam for seven years. <laughs> um, <laughs> moved from there to Russia, then from Russia to Scotland for like half a year, Egypt, then back up to Scotland, and now London. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, I'm trying to work out what your dad did. The circus, is it? The, the v- circus, or oh, that Vietnamese <laughs> circus, that very famous circus over there. Vietnam. Yeah, that that was shit. called the war. <laughs> no, uh, he work? worked in oil. So wherever right. the oil was, he just sort of carted me around with him. Right. But yeah. No, it was class. His dad's a driver it. for BP. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> just, he used to do the Vietnamese yeah. petrol stations, then the Russians. Yeah. And Scotland, obviously. Showing you knowledge about the oil industry there, Adam. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What was uh, wrong with that? What? What do you mean? He isn't a BP driver, is he? No, I was he, joking he about that. Yeah, yeah. But like, what was wrong with what was fundamentally flawed about my? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they just drive to a petrol station in Vietnam. <laughs> Are you saying Vietnamese people don't use petrol? Diesel. They do. They they they've, got their, Diesel. they've got their own Sorry. oil. Yeah. They've got their own oil. <laughs> but yeah, how, how long have you been back it. in the UK? Uh, you always felt British, though. Were you, yeah, interna- my, my, were you at international my, my, schools everywhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And it was filled with military kids. Yeah. American military kids. So right. that's why there's a bit of that twang there. It's like tended to be made up of mostly American kids there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I came back to the UK when I was 14. Yeah. So I've I went to uni with a girl from Cameroon and she was like, hey, I'm from Cameroon. And you're like, well, you sound American as fuck. <laughs> She'd only ever watched American TV. Yeah, so well, she sort of thing. taught herself to speak by watching Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that is like a big thing. And that's why a lot of the times when these people from abroad, they learn English is they will 90% of the time have an American accent because of the TV shows they watch to learn it. Yeah. 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 Movies, things like that. That's so Pretty funny. Weird. Could I be any more from Cameroon? I'm Could so I? <laughs> she was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was it was mental. But like everyone should have just let it lie, but everyone's like, no, you're definitely American. She was like, I'm fucking not. I'm from Cameroon, okay. <laughs> Amazing. She was dead sound. Mm. I reckon we're about four or five years away from genuine Americans identifying as being from Cameroon anyway, so that she'll fit in with all them soon. Like it. Yeah. That's a little identity politics joke there <laughs> for the for, for the man then. Uh, Vietnamese petrol stations. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with that? <laughs> Finn, did you have any questions? I know. I, I... On the spot. Yeah. So, so we've got our ghost hunt has just come out on Friday. We we did a second ghost hunt. And I saw on your YouTube that you went to a haunted yes. house about six months ago. Yeah. Can you just talk to us about that and we can kind of share experiences. <sighs> yeah, it was. it was a load of bollocks really. That's that's what. So there were a couple bits, right? So we we, we rocked up to this place, and there was like the. We Do you know where it was? Do you know what the place was called? Oh, I, I can't remember. It was a place in Greenwich, and it was okay. it was like a haunted mansion. Yeah. That, uh, that now they just do like ghost tours, and just off of that should have been like. If you're doing ghost tours constantly in this place, I feel like the ghost would have fucked off. Like, there's too many people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you lot are constantly coming here, like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not making any money. Uh, so anyway, so that was the first red flag. But I was like, do you know what? We'll go. Yeah, fine. We rock up, me and the boys. Um, and they give us, so we brought some of our own equipment because I was there. I don't want any of their, you know, potentially tampered with equipment. I'm bringing my own. So we brought like a few bits of like, you know, those like EMF re- yeah, readers yeah. and things like that. <laughs> yeah, really. So true. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we took a couple of those, but they still wanted to... Give us a, f- a few of their own stuff. I said, fine, we'll take those as well. Um, and then they also were insistent on us using a Ouija board. And I said, fuck that, no chance. I, I don't necessarily believe in that stuff, but I'm also not one to tempt it either. So I said, no, anyways, we're, we, we go walk around this place and just like nothing's happening, right? Like none of our stuff's going off. 
And so we're like 20, 30 minutes into this and we're sort of looking around. I'm thinking, how the fuck am I supposed to get a YouTube video out of this? Like, this is this is shit. And then we went into one room and we set the like this thing, this trinket that goes down and it starts like making like a sound if it ever, if it, you know, if there's a ghost around or whatever. Um, and then that went off once or twice. But for the most part, it was all just like little sounds that you would get in a like a haunted or like just a normal abandoned mansion or but whatever before. Have you watched, we've now done a couple of ghost hunts. Yeah. And when people believe, they want to believe. Yeah, it's so confirmation they, bias, they isn't it? They hear so. those things and they go, watching our friend Barry, who basically did our two ghost tours, mm -hmm. watching him exist like that. And I now I've done two. I don't know if we'll ever do another one. The second one, we went to a, a castle in North Northumberland. This was about a month ago. It was fucking freezing. It was grim. We went in the dungeons. We went to like a cursed lake at midnight. Honestly, let's it, but bear in mind this will go out Monday, and that it's only just gone on Patreon on Friday. Yeah, so we can't give any spoilers away. Yeah, no spoilers. But some stuff did happen. Yeah, where we like the the machines were doing certain things, and uh, like I'm as I'm a open minded skeptic. He's an absolute non believer, and Carl's sort of slightly more skeptical than me. Yeah, but not completely closed. Yeah. It like, but doing it with someone who truly believes that's, that's, that's the most fun. It's like taking a kid to Disneyland. Like, if I yeah. go to Disneyland on my own, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's nice, nice weather, fucked about. You take a kid and you're like, hey, it was really fun. You sort of, it's like Christmas with my daughter. It's way more fun because she's loving it. That's how ghost hunting with Barry's like, he's like, oh, fucking, and yeah. like, he wanted to believe in every nut, no like, every. Uh -huh. Did you hear that, that then? He's like, yeah, buddy, someone's hoovering the next apartment yeah, yeah. over. Like, That's what? a hoover, isn't At it? At one point, I was just scratching my leg. He was like, no, shut the fuck up. I swear to God. I can hear the rustling of like a, a Victorian lady's dress. I was just like, I've got psoriasis. <laughs> I forgot my cream. <laughs> it's mental watching yeah. people try and... I mean, to be fair, being in a dungeon at, like, midnight. Well, that's so it. You don't have to believe in ghosts. That was fucking horrible. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing. Like, you're going to feel like that regardless. Even if someone told me this wasn't a haunted place, I don't want to be in someone's cellar at midnight. Yeah. yeah. That, it, that, yeah. That's just quite creepy. And it, the, the noise has come anyways. I don't like going downstairs to my own kitchen at yeah. three in the morning. <laughs> I turn like, I every light on. I don't. I turn every yeah. light switch as I walk down. I'm like, landing lights on, bathroom lights on, living room lights on, put the lamp on for good, use kitchen lights on, get me drink, and then turn them all off in the exact same reverse order. Check on the, the lot for refugees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's scary, isn't it? And run, and run. The last one, and run after the last one as well. well my last one is me lamp at the next to me bed, so I'm already in bed. I'm just... All right. So nothing, you did nothing No, no there were but bits were there that went, there were bits, people. yeah, yeah, there was bits that went off and you hear certain sounds. But when I left that place, I didn't think there are ghosts here. Right. Yeah. I, di I didn't think that, but it was, it was, it was fun to do. And it's a, it's a funny video because you just get to watch it and it's just, yeah, you're right. Like once you're in that environment with all your friends, it's just there were some moments on the ghost hunt too. And it's available on our Patreon now, patreon.com slash have a word pod. I will... The, you know, like core memories. There's a couple. There's one particular core memory that I will take to my fucking grave. It was so fun. Uh, yeah, just walking through, a, walking through woods. <laughs> it was minus one. It was frosty everywhere, and just walking through. The, like there was a beautiful moment. Right? Like you, you must get this as a YouTuber. We, we're doing this shit where it was like ten to midnight, and we were walking through like a haunted forest. Be <laughs> like, what the fuck are we doing for a job? <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Have you had a moment like yeah. that? What's the what's obviously what you doing your YouTube stuff? Yeah, uh, has there been a moment like that for you where you were like, oh my god, this is what I get to do? Like either this is fucking insane or this is incredible. Eat anything like that? Yeah, I, do you know what? It's mostly because nowadays, especially I really just choose videos that I want to, that I think are cool, that like I'll go and yeah. stay at a nice hotel or I'll go and do, and anytime I'm there, I'm there like, I can't believe I'm making fuck loads of money for, for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does feel like that, but um, yeah, I don't know if there's like, there's times where I've you know, played football with some amazing footballers, Yaya Torre, things like that. And I'm just there like, this is so cool that this is my job and I'm quite literally getting paid to play football with. Yeah, yeah. Torre. as a non-footballer. As a non-footballer, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of footballers out there that have uh, have had that luxury as well. So. I think there's probably plenty of footballers, though. 
like actual Premier League footballers who've played against Yaya Torre and been like, I'm playing with fucking Yaya Torre today. And yeah. it's still a big deal to them. Yeah, Never yeah. mind. And that's their job. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's true. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, for example, like, on Friday, I've booked out a trampoline park and I'm literally just going to go there, fuck around, shoot some stuff there. But like, that is my job. <laughs> like. Can we do that? We need like, to do that. Just to ruin some kid's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do for your birthday, little Benji? I just want to go to the trampoline park. I've dreamed of it forever for my eighth birthday. Well, you can't because Cal Freezy put the fuck around. <laughs> so get down bowling, you dick. Really? Are you got, it's not yeah. literally just you. That is such a... That no, no, it's not just me <laughs> jumping around the trampoline park by myself, just like, wow, this oh, is lots of fun. Get out! I paid for it all! <laughs> yeah. I'm it. the king of the trampoline park! <laughs> you kneel before Cal! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Have I'm, you ever no. been to one? A trampoline park? Yeah, I've been to one before, yeah. So I went a few years ago. Uh, my ex-girlfriend bought me for my birthday. She was like, we're going to the trampoline park. You said you wanted cool. to go, so we're going there. And she was like, hey, we get two hours. And I was like, oh. Two hours. It's I, I, I might I might pay for it a bit longer. <laughs> Four minutes in, I was like, can we go and have a cup of tea in the cafe and then we'll carry on again in a bit. It yeah. is the most tiring thing <laughs> it, I've ever done in my life. It it's was, knackering, it, isn't it? It was, it's for, like, and there's literally like, there's the people who work there. You know, like when you go to like an ice rink or like a roller park and like the people who work there are so good at it and they're just like gliding about and they're like explaining things while they're moonwalking on ice skates to you. They're like, yeah, totally. this is how you ice skate. They're like that at the trampoline. So there's like a fella doing literal like fucking front <laughs> crawl jumping jacks around the whole place. And he's like, yeah, so just make sure you got your helmet on at all times. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure your elbow pads are fit, really secure. And yeah, just don't worry about it. And look at me, I can literally free crawl all the way up this wall. Do you not think that they're just really fucking annoying? Yes. Yeah. They, do, they know they're good. Right, and, and you're supposed to be working, yet you're just flying around doing all these flips. You know I can't do that. You know everyone else in here can't fucking do that. So why are you doing that? Like, Especially when you're there with your daughter and it's the under fours session. <laughs> you're like, literally, it's just parents and toddlers on the trampolines and some 19-year-old who's vaping is doing fucking eight backflips. <laughs> that you're why? going to knock a child do you out. Know I did that. Me and Serica, she booked for us to go to trampoline park, but she booked like... 11 till 12 on a Saturday morning. No, no one Kids won. zone. So I went and it was full of toddlers <laughs> because I didn't give a fuck. I was just doing shit like that, just like jumping over kids' heads. And she was like, stop, you're going to kill a child. I was like, well, I've got an hour. I'm not, not using it. So she sat and watched and was pissed off. Yeah, I, t I have to say this about the uh, toddler sessions. I used to go with my daughter. She's at school now, but like you go Definitely on like a was Tuesday. With your daughter, yeah, you're not allowed <laughs> in just, on your own. I'm glad you've made that clear. Hey, because I didn't go with my daughter. Can I just say, the one, the one in Ellesmere Port, the tots bounce. You can't just turn up as a four-year-old like, are you all right? I don't work Tuesday mornings. It was just... It was just the kids and then some mums. So there'd be some hot mum. And obviously, tramp I am sound like a perv, because I am. There'd be trampolining mums and tits would be flapping. Every It'd be great fun for a perv. And then you realise that you're trampolining and then my tits would be flapping, which is a real <laughs> fucking disappointment. Do you remember the I loved it. I loved it. Wow. Do you remember the rollerblading cunt? Yeah. Yeah, he was a cock. What, the yeah. trampolines? No, he was just going backwards all the time. He had, like, dreadlocks, like, down to his fucking arsehole. And he was literally, like... I, I'm literally struggling. I looked like, like I was trying. I looked like I had like a brain injury, and I was trying to learn to walk again. And I was literally just like struggling <laughs> on these things. My my ex was doing all right. Serica was doing oh, really Serica's well. Unbelievable. Carl was not as bad as me, but not as good as either of the girls. But this guy's just there, just looking at our girlfriends, like skating around them in figures <laughs> of eight, to me like, "Hey, girls, how you doing?" You ever want to be with a man who can roller skate like this? <laughs> <laughs> like, Serica's going to be like, well, I've been with Carl 10 years and I love him and we're buying a house together, but this cunt can roller skate. No, but he could rock, like, he was like sitting on the floor or something on his phone on his Xbox. Like, yeah, but, fucking roller skate yeah, but he's not steal your 10 year girlfriend fucking good no, at roller skating. No, but he skating. thought he was. Yeah. He was, he like, was giving off that vibe right, of, yeah. oh, your, your man's gone for a sit down, has he? I'm not going to sit down for at least 45 minutes. <laughs> look, watch this. So on music. one leg for a bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've hopped over a child. That was easy, wasn't it? Could he do that? No. Do you want to go for tapas? He was a gobshite. <laughs> he was speaking the whole time. I think. <laughs> but could you imagine being like, so the reason he probably does it is because it has worked at some point, right? <laughs> so could you imagine being that one bloke <laughs> that did have his girl stolen? <laughs> oh. By that. 
by some high speed paedophile. Uh, yeah, it's I not good. I top it? myself. There's no way <laughs> you could keep going after that. <laughs> when Rose came for date night, Darwin, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go back <laughs> to steal someone else's. <laughs> what are you gonna do in the trampoline park? What's the plan? Like you've got the whole thing to yourself. I need to. I need to figure that out. Yeah, I just booked it because it would be cool, and it's an excuse to just me or all my friend just go I to I love how you plan your shit. You yeah. plan your shit exactly how we do. Yeah. Book it, confirm it, pay a deposit, and then work it and, out later. And that, yeah, it's a problem for the night before. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, the morning <laughs> of we do. Oh, the morning <laughs> of, the morning oh. Of. We'd be in Starbucks <laughs> having an argument, like we need content here lads, we need a fucking closer. We were literally, we did our Christmas special in December and four hours before it started, we were sat in the Clockworks pub in the Phil Gone right. Who's going to Smithies to get a mask? Just so, just, just so that someone. We need a horse head. That'll be funny. Basically, agreeing that I was getting a tattoo on my ass. So we're having a loud disagreement about the tattoo and how this is going to play out. And some family are having like a family birthday next to us. I'm like, no, not everything. You, you can control what's going on the ass, but. It's not too big. You can see this family. And I was like, Dan, sake. your ass is mine today, okay? <laughs> Ignore the crying child. Listen to me. Focus. Yeah, we don't plan shit. Not yeah. at all. We've though. just, we can't reveal it just yet. We mentioned to you before, we've just confirmed or tentatively confirmed a, a big live show for later this year. At a trampoline park. At a trampoline park. Out. It's yeah. amazing. Eight 11 till 12, available. loads of toddlers. Let's knock them out. Uh, that's going to take a little bit more planning than a few yeah, days before. Yeah. Probably. Because if we don't, we lose a lot of money, don't we? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Let's plan got, that one. Got some investments in there. Um, Why are you trying to figure doing that one the night before or the morning of? Yeah, I would imagine no, it'd be quite not? tricky. But let's maybe not go into it too much because yeah. maybe not. Oh, I can feel them getting excited. It's I'm so there. fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Have you done any live stuff, Carl? You've done? No, I'm terrified to do live stuff. Actually, really? Yeah, because at least I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we never edit our podcasts or anything like that w when we do them. So it's better, isn't it? It's best. Yeah, it's yeah. better. But for some reason, I just think, who would actually want to turn up and listen to me chat shit? For Lots them? of people. Because that's the thing. Like, by the Come on, Cal. Lots of people. You could literally no, now but... to that camera go, right, I'm going to do a stand-up uh, show. I'll do about an hour in London in a few weeks. And you know, by the time that you finish doing it, when people watch it, it will so sell out. So yeah, people but... would want to come and see you. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's an anxiety thing. It's an anxiety is thing. I think I would be there and I'd be I'd be shitting myself. Even like uh, the, the side men did like a roast and I yeah. was one of the people roasting them. And there was like a few b friends and family in the crowd and that was it. I, I, was, I was up late the night before just stressed about it. And it was like no different to any other video, but it was the idea that I had to be funny. Right, that is the worst, right? And it's lit you guys are qualified to be funny, right? <laughs> you literally do it for a living. Now, I don't like to put that pressure on myself, so the live thing is just Have you window, got man. Ignore the fear for a second, just for a second. Yeah. Have you got any ambition to do it? Would you like to do it? You're just f fearful of it? Or have you just got no interest in it whatsoever? There's always a price. If if someone wants to give me enough money, I'm more than happy to get over that fear. <laughs> yeah. but that, that's... Lynx Africa, live. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just not there <laughs> for the whole thing. It's cut from his own gig. Yeah. yeah. The just people of Cameroon are like, where the fuck was he? <laughs> <laughs> we were so excited. <laughs> Fucking bastard. <laughs> we're doing a roast in six, five days. As we're in you guys are getting roasted or yeah. you're doing we're the We're doing roast? the American style roast of Adam and Dan where we get our say back at the end, but we've got like eight comedians cool. yeah. coming to- we're Bullying our friends with punchlines. Yeah. yeah. How did you find class. it? Do you enjoy roasting? Uh, yeah, it was actually good fun, but it, it's all to do with the delivery. And when you're a little bit more nervous, the delivery just doesn't really flow as well as I practiced it in my mirror 500 times a night before. And then when I come to it, I'm like stuttering. There's one bit, right? Where I do this just joke where I, I, I take out this bit of paper and then I read off like a poem or something. You can literally see the paper shaking oh, violently. Yeah, yeah. And I'm there like, I'm just gonna let go of this paper in a minute because this looks horrific. That's a mistake so, loads of new comics make. They're like, oh, I've got this prop. And the, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it gives I'm gonna the copy of my local newspaper. It's like, yeah. They look like they've got Parkinson's. It's really. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I did love doing it. I did love doing it, and I love coming up with the jokes. And th that part of it was fun. But yeah, I don't know. So maybe it's something. Did I, I anyone it, get eggy? Did anyone get upset? Did any of the sidemen get? Was there a, was there a line? 
There was a few lines like watching back that I'm there like, like that's a tough one to take. Like, yeah, looking back on it now, I'll, I don't think we'll ever know whether they, they've taken it. Cause on camera, you can't just kick off. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got yeah, to just yeah. firm it and then go and cry yourself Imagine to bed that night. Imagine the rose, I'm like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Stomp off. Yeah. Yeah, you're not. So you're I don't think I will down. ever know, but there was definitely just a few watching back and you go, yeah, that one. I'm not sure I would have said that one now. Yeah, so we've got a mate Freddie Quinn who's been ringing people's ex-girlfriends. Has oh, he? That's how serious is he taking it. Not yours. Oh, all right. But, I've, uh, seen, I've seen one of his lines and it's rough. Yeah. Rough. It turns out we've, yeah, we've released an animal onto ourselves. As in like... like you well, wouldn't it's so it in Freddie's wheelhouse, isn't it? Freddie wants to be the offensive roast style comic on stage, never mind doing roasts. So we've given Freddie an opportunity in front of, what, 700 people to do what he wants to do and permission to say it to us and not just people he doesn't know. <laughs> he went, has it been recorded and put on Patreon? Oh, fuck, I didn't know that. You're like, everything we do is recorded and put on Patreon. Of course it is. He was like, oh, shit. Like it's he was gonna just going to get things. to abuse everyone and then it just disappear into the ether. He's got some good shit, though. I have to say, though, if someone actually did lose the temper, it would... I mean, that's what you want. So yeah. Now that is what you want. It would make for one of the most amazing moments. I don't think with the lads we've got that. I think everyone. <laughs> it would be phenomenal. Someone just cried a little bit. Have you got Stephen <laughs> Tries doing it by any chance? No, we did ask him. But oh, so okay. when we did, we did an event in November called the Last Dance. So yeah. Dan used to host uh, a night in Manchester called Beat the Frog for new comedians, where you've got to try and make it to five minutes without getting voted off. So right. Britain's Got Talent style. Mm -hmm. Um, I've retired now because I've got all the gamer aid money. <laughs> um, and Stephen came down and he roasted Dan as, yeah. as his act, and it was brilliant. And he was like, "I, I watched I've, a bit of that." Yeah, he was. Like, I think I've sort of done it. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he was in that Sidemen one, and he just he's so good. Like he, he, that's what he is amazing at. He will be. A, he, he will do comedy again. I think. Yeah, I think I he's an amazing so. he's got that joke itch. writer. Yeah, his writing's incredible. Yeah. Uh huh. So I'd like. Yeah, that's would have been good to see. But yeah. I'll go on Patreon next month. Um, there's loads coming up on Patreon actually Loads of announcements So you've got to go and check them out Do you prefer doing the live stuff or, or the podcast? Well for us The podcast is a is a, a, a vehicle to sell more live tickets Really? As, like primarily anyway uh -huh. Well that's what it started as it, This has now become so part of our weekly routines That I could not go away When I'm away from this for a week I feel like itchy Like I yeah. want to be back So it's hard but I always see myself as a comedian who podcasts rather than a podcaster who does stand-up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think that's the way you have to be, though. Not Otherwise. all live work is the same. Like, this is uh -huh. better than a lot of the live comedy I used to do. There are You can't really get food good... off of this. No. Because <laughs> no. it's yours. <laughs> but you, you know, you don't have to drive to somewhere shit to play to people who don't want to listen to you. But, yeah. like, at live comedy, at its best, in, in front of a great crowd, doesn't matter if it's big or small, like when they're all there and it's electric and you're on fire, that takes some beating. That's yeah. like, the, but they're not, all gigs aren't like that. Yeah. Every time we turn up in here and have a fuck around, it's I love going fun. to comedy, like live comedy. I, it's where's, really you go, where's your go-to? Um, uh, in London, there's a place in Greenwich. Up the creek? That one. Yeah. Uh, being there, uh, the comedy store. There's also the secret. Top secret. Comedy Top club. secret. That was, that's probably my favorite one, actually. It's one of I my favorite like clubs them. in the world. I was there last weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're three great clubs. I don't do yeah. Up the Creek as often as I'd like to. They always ask me, but they're, because they're quite far out from Central. Yeah, they it's are. It's hard to do there and the clubs in Central. W will you try and do multiple in one night? Yeah, so like London oh. last weekend, I did three. Two Thursday, three Friday, three Saturday. Yeah. So Thursday was just two at Top Secret. Friday was two at Top Secret and then a, a place called The Boat Show. Yeah. And then Saturday the same, two at Top Secret and then over to The Boat Show. And what's the London crowd like? Because I feel like London crowds, for music at least, they tend to be a bit shit compared to you come to Liverpool, you come to Manchester, things um, like that. The crowds tend to be well, way more up for it. I think the reason for that, to be honest, and this is why Liverpool, I think, is a great place if you get them. Yeah is most people in the Liverpool crowd, generally speaking, are from Liverpool, and there's an identity to the crowd, whereas Liverpool is such a cosmopolis of so many different people from all over the world. Is that a good word? Cosmopolis. Yeah. I just, I noticed a little... Yeah. I, I knew exactly what you meant, so it worked. I mean, yeah. I'm giving you the, well done. 
might I not be that, a word. I, might, not be, I, might not be a word, but you've made. Can you Google that? Because I think I nailed that. Um, beautiful use of language. I uh, I, I think that's there's a, such a, and especially in central <laughs> London, at like the comedy store, it's a lot of tourists. It is. Yeah. So, it is a film, Cosmopolis. Is it a word though? Um, no. no. It's just a film but it's a beautiful word that you can have. Yeah. Yeah. When you gig when you gig in London, if you mention anywhere around the UK, loads of people cheer. Yeah. You mention Leeds so and some will go, Ugh! because London just, just pulls everyone in, not just yeah. to for a weekend or whatever, or like like they they come from all over the country to work, yeah. don't they? And there's internationals. It's hard it's to play surprising. to a London audience, I think. A, co- a cockney audience anyway. If you were in the crowd, yeah. would you cheer for Vietnam, Russia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever asked, is there anyone from Vietnam in the crowd? And they'd be good Challenge if you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were there probably hoping to have a joke off the bat that there's no no one from Vietnam in the crowd and then there's hey, me Bruno. just spoiling his fucking joke. <laughs> that would be phenomenal though, to watch someone go, is there anyone in from Vietnam? And have everyone look at you yeah. as you the go. The tall, yeah, me. skinny, white guy in the back going, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he go, okay, Egypt. And you go, yeah, yeah. That one as well. yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you multilingual? Can you speak Vietnamese? No, I can't. <laughs> Could you what imagine how just pulled it out? This section, this would be. I fucking love it. Can you speak any of it? I would. No, when I when I uh, lived in Egypt, I could speak it a little bit. But the thing is, if you don't, if you're not there involved in it, I just, you just forget it. I can't even count to ten in these in these yeah. languages anymore. But forgive my ignorance. Yeah. Do Egyptians speak Egyptian? Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, they speak Arabic, it's Arabic yeah, okay. but but like it will be with like an Egyptian. That they all have like their own yeah. bit to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like American English or oh, listen. <laughs> that yeah. was the thing. So when I that's, when I came that's back, what they do when they're talking. When I came back from Egypt and I I went to school in Scotland, everyone just found it so funny to ask some of the most stupid fucking questions. Did you go to school on a camel? Did you, did you live did in you? the pyramids? <laughs> right. Did you like? Did you did you swim in like just in the now? All, all these sort of like just bizarre things, and and but that was their vision of Egypt, and so I was constantly just no. I just where's your favorite place to school? You've lived? Egypt. Is that your favorite? E- yeah. e- well, Egypt was my favorite, but I was also like the oldest then, so I appreciated it more. But Vietnam was lovely too. Russia was fucking weird, and then yeah. How long uh, did you live in those places? Vietnam was like six or seven years. Um, Russia one year, Egypt like three, four, but it was just before they had their revolution. No so. offense, Scotland, but you didn't even get in the league table of places <laughs> you live. <laughs> what about where are all those places? Oh, everywhere. <laughs> Vietnam, Egypt was great. Yeah. Russia was weird, but Scotland. Yeah. Scotland's there, isn't it? Scotland's Did you learn any of your language there? Um, <laughs> fluent Scottish. Fucking <laughs> league. Oh, hey. Now that, but yeah, that's your Egyptian, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Ooh, hey. Should we have a little break? Hey. Hey. Ooh, hey, go. Hey. Hey. Ooh, hey. Wag wag lids, it's Dan. Hope you're enjoying today's episode. Do us a favor. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe. If you're listening, follow us on all socials at Have a Word Pod. Tell a friend. Do something. Help spread the word. Also, I'm on tour next year. If you want to come and see me do stand up, Get tickets at dannightingale.com. Appreciate you. You're a good egg. You're a good lid. Back to the episode. <laughs> You're a fucking pro, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, in that break, we were talking about FIFA and the packs. And this is the this packs. Time, Sounds uh, like something my dad would say. I know. Oh, you and those, the, the packs. I, <laughs> I feel old. This is when I feel old, mate. What is it? I don't get it. How is it not just a game? It's virtual currency and you It's pay. basically collecting footy stickers, but you get to use your footy stickers yeah. to play with. Okay, cool. Footy stickers are expensive. Yeah. yeah, right. No, but I was aware they were expensive. And then Calfrizi started talking about his version of expensive and my house is worth less than his expensive. Yeah. I don't, well, and, I don't and, get it. And that pales into significance yeah. with 99% of the FIFA community now. A lot of these guys will spend that high six figures a year on packs or you know sort of like 500 grand plus i would imagine so we'll give a little brief explanation because we've got a lot of people who listen who probably have got no knowledge just like you hello what are the packs on fifa there's a version of fifa called ultimate team on ultimate team you're trying to build a team full of players and you don't just play with like liverpool you've got to 
you've got to like get like Mohamed Salah, and then you can pick any other striker that you've found or bought to play alongside him. It doesn't have to be the. It's team. not like a lottery, is it? Just like you pay for yeah. a pack and you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, yeah. But like, but it's so, literally like getting digital footy stickers. But with Salah, he plays better with someone in the Premier League. Or someone from Liverpool. Hang on. Or so if you just, spend a tenner on a pack, you might get you like... You could get nothing. And you usually do. Yeah. You could spend a thousand pounds on a pack. You could spend a thousand pounds and get, get nothing. nothing. Yeah. That's the fucking... By pack. nothing, we mean we're talking about those at League One, Farmer League type players. Yeah. Right. Like shy. Or really shit Premier League players. And but the you, only way to win games on FIFA is to have a team of 11 elite players. So if I, you've got a load of like Burnley players, right. you are not going to win a single game. I yeah. saw a guy... He had his back to the TV and his girlfriend was filming him and he was finding out what player he was getting oh. and he got Pele. That's and good. It, it looked like he'd won the lottery. But that is equivalent to winning the lottery in terms of percentage. Of it's getting essentially them. an early version of NFTs. They're valuable to people who want them and make no sense to anyone else. Yeah. Right. If you get yeah. Pele, it's like 0.0001%, genuinely. Right. So, so if you get him, you've won the lottery on FIFA. So how much have you... Sp- Spe- just for my old adult brain who doesn't yeah. understand. Well, you, you, so I, I, yeah, I haven't played the, or I, yeah, I haven't played the game in quite a few years. But I started playing in like FIFA eleven days, and so for until till probably about what FIFA eighteen. So like six or so, oh, across six or seven years worth of FIFA, like it's well over a hundred grand worth of packs. Right. Which is again that pales into but, insignificance. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, one, but people be going, oh well, that's fucking sad. Is that like, right? Okay, but uh, it, it it was like a business. It's a business expense, really, because I was making videos about it, and it's just like reinvesting into any other business. But like you said, <laughs> there are people out there spending millions. Yeah, yeah. do you spend? Yeah, and they millions? might get Tony Hibbert. I don't get it. How yeah. can- because How can you spend twenty grand on a pack they and then release the Tony Hibbert icon card? This <laughs> yeah, year yeah, yeah. Is it big? <laughs> did. Yeah, yeah. It's to chase that one pack. It's so you can open a hundred and get nothing, but when you get that one pack, the rush is. It's so you could get Pele and you could get Lee Carsley. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can actually get them both in the same pack. But the Pele and Lee Carsley pack? Yeah. That's, that's a one, really that's winning. Lottery. It's not that's, one card in each pack. Because they play better together, don't they? they do, Lee yeah. Carsley up front with Pele. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. So really, <laughs> defenders don't know what's happening. But yeah. you're chasing that rush. You're chasing that rush. Of it's Lee gamb- Carsley? It's gambling. <laughs> the yeah. thing with Lee Carsley and Pele, the defenders <laughs> often get confused because they look so similar. <laughs> so they don't know which one to mark. Because they don't see colour. Yeah. It's a problem. There's Pele in a bloke that looks like me. Yeah. But Hard FIFA work. has got an, an, an age group of males by the bollocks. Yeah. By the bollocks who spend... Everyone spends money on packs. There's obviously people who spend more. But it's got all of us. But it's, it's, all of us, it yeah. is the ultimate uh, that sort of scam, right? Because you're there, you think, right, well, I've invested £5,000 this year. Right? That's a good investment. But every October when the new game comes out, that £5,000 you've just spent is fucking worthless. Like quite literally has no value. You've pissed it game, down the drain. You start again. With, yeah. You start with a team full of Lee Carsleys. We all dream of a team of Lee Carsleys. <laughs> you literally do dream of a team of Lee Carsleys for that first week. <laughs> <laughs> the first week, you're lucky if you've got 11 Lee Carsleys in your squad. What, what happens yeah. in the first week? You've just got like well, fake the first week, gen You haven't players. had enough time to They've open just got guys like who can't even run. It's yeah. just like... It'd be like, oh, that left back who plays for Swindon, he'll do for now because he's got good yeah. chem with. Because yeah. he's he's Azerbaijan and I've got an Azerbaijan and winger, so they'll play well together. Ollie Sweet. Watkins for the first week is like Pele. Yeah. Right. Or like someone like that. Like someone who's quick, like Pace, is very uh, the meta. Is it said. fair to say that I don't think you can be married and spend this money on packs? You can. I don't. People do. I can guarantee right. there's thousands of people okay, watching this. Cool. If you're married and you spent five grand on packs, I want to know how and what kind of marriage you've got. Should we go on holiday this year? I'm so sorry, love. <laughs> yeah. I've just spent all this money on what do you not know about Papa Booba Dior. The thing is, I think that that, that conversation happens way more yeah. than you could possibly imagine. So fucking lootly. Yeah. Like you've said that as a joke, but I promise you, someone listening to this Many. has got it in the fucking neck from their wife. No doubt in my mind. Yeah, because she's not going to the Maldives, you've got Lee Carsley. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, but she no. doesn't understand how much he's gonna like. He's gonna improve that team. Uh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This she is doesn't. the thing with women. Often yeah. they don't understand how men work. No, they don't. I think they know how the Maldives work, though. So. Yeah, but then she can fund the Maldives herself. Right. Do you know what I mean? I'll fund me FIFA addiction. You fund the Maldives, and we'll both enjoy both. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So um, yeah. you're you're lucky to not be a part of the the, 
the vice grip that EA has over yeah. a lot of men in this country. Well, if you need world. any addiction counselling, I know a good but guy. But it is an addiction, a low-level addiction, and right. it's a high-level addiction for a lot of people too. Gen- yeah. it's, it sounds stupid. I would love to be on the fly in the wall for a FIFA therapy session. And then you went back and bought another pack, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. But you told yourself you wouldn't. Yeah. I've got back from doing a double of gigs before and just got in and gone, right, got 200 quid for each gig. And I would have happily just done one gig tonight, so I'll just spend that 200 quid now. <sighs> on pixels. Every on a night screen. of a three yeah. night run. Like you don't even want, you yeah. don't want the plays you're getting. You just want the one player that you do want. Oh, so good. Mental that, really. But that's, that's the EA of literally, as Carl said, just like it's the biggest scam ever. But it yeah, oh no, it's fun. class. Yeah, no. The, that rush is worth <laughs> the, everything. Do you think footballers play it? You do? And they're all the best yeah. at it because they've all got the best teams. Yogo Jota's one of the best in the world, genuinely. Yeah, he gets, t- he yeah. gets top 100. At football and FIFA. Yeah. There was a, there was actually a, he had a game later that night and he was like qualifying for a tournament. He's that good. He like genuinely can qualify for these tournaments. And so he had a game later on. He had to leave the qualification process in order to go and play a game for Liverpool. So I think I heard it like the commentator say, or someone had said, yeah, he's, he's had to leave his, his oh. FIFA tournament to come and play this game for play Liverpool. Real football. You're yeah. a Liverpool fan as well, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So what's it like being a Liverpool fan who has to go and do football videos with players from other teams? The thing is, like, in terms of like level of fan, I'm I'm I support Liverpool, but I I also love other players. I like watching other players. So I don't I'm not really so you're not like mate. a diehard no, I'm yeah, not yeah. like a diehard fan. Yeah. So <clears throat> I have no problem going and making videos with other people. Like that's totally fine. But if I'm watching football then I support Liverpool. But that's yeah. really as far as it goes. You're and a professional. I I, you could do a video with Lee Carsley. All right, okay, I'll I'd love to do that. It's like I've won a bet. For- <laughs> Who's the biggest player? <laughs> Who's the biggest player you've done a video with? Definitely Ronaldo. Cristiano, that, not yeah. Fat Ronaldo. No, 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 Cristiano Ronaldo. And this was when at his time in Madrid. And I went over there and it was actually to do with, uh, was it to do with FIFA? Um, no, it was to do. He was bringing out this fragrance. Wasn't it aftershave? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen it, yeah. The the CR7 fragrance. And I've always said, I, I don't tend to get nervous in front of. I could of have quite happily made a chloroform joke there, by the way, and I refused to. And I want the credit. <laughs> That's for growth. For not doing that. That is growth. Yeah. 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 But you still referenced it after. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you did the joke in a different form. <laughs> I did. Yeah. But I did it on my own terms. And do you know what? That takes balls. It does. Well done. Um, yeah, so I went out to I went out to Madrid, and he's he's got this fragrance that he's chilling out, and we were one of the the pressings. And I don't like I said I don't get nervous in front of people, but there's a, there's a few people out there that I'd say definitely get a little bit Ronaldo, maybe like Drake, someone like that. People that I, I look up to. Right? Then my so moment under. I'm there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I'm sweating. You can see it. In, not fucking Lee Carsley. Thanks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise I'm not going to say him again. He is. He I absolutely. really, I'm having a very Lee Carsley heavy episode. I'm not saying it again. It. He'll say it at the end. <laughs> Anyways, so there, uh, I walk in and uh, you can see in the video, I am sweating, right? Just nervous. They, but they don't help though, because him and his 20 PR team standing behind the camera have given me like a brief. And it's like, if you ask one wrong question, you're dead. That was the vibe that I got. So um, what I did was I thought, right, what video would be good for myself and that he would enjoy doing? Uh, and what I decided was, right, I'm going to give him a bunch of stats about himself. He'll love that. Right. And he has to tell me whether they're true or false. So I'm going through, I asked the first couple of questions. They said, right, I want you to mention the fragrance in this video once or twice. I said, no problem. Third thing in, I asked a question about the fragrance. Fine. Fourth and fifth question, lady, stop the cameras, stop the cameras, stop the cameras. And I'm going, fuck, what that, What have I, I've asked a question. I'm going to get decapitated. Anyways, she goes, you need to talk more about the fragrance. And I'm like, fuck's sake. Like, I, I don't want this whole video to be about this fragrance. I don't mind speaking one or two bits about it, but that's that's it. So anyways, I go, right, no problem. Next question I ask about the fragrance. Anyways, another two questions go along. And she goes again. She goes, talk more about the fragrance, right? And I'm not in the mood to sort of like back chat. I've got, a, you, you literally given like 10 minutes. There's someone, I'm not joking with a stopwatch on the side. Like you have your 10 minutes and he's on to the next person. Um, and he was, I, 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 he seemed to really be enjoying himself, having a good time. You can see it in the video, he's up for it. Um, but then that, Third, uh, the sorry, the second time that she she says that, 
he starts going off, right? And it's not in the video, but he starts going off in Portuguese to her. Um, and at this point, I'm there like, is he getting at me? Is he telling me this is shit? What the fuck am I doing here? Look at this fucking nerd asking me these questions like that. So that's what I'm thinking in my head. Or is, she, is he bollocking her? Or But I don't know. Oh, so I, I, mean, I don't speak Portuguese. I ain't got a clue. So I just troop on through. If get it was a, Vietnamese, you'd have been fine, oh, I'd obviously. Be, <laughs> I'd have been sorted. Uh, but he doesn't speak Vietnamese. So <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, I'd have given it a go if I was you. I'd just be like, hey, is that Vietnamese? I jump. Uh, yeah. Funny. Um, <laughs> you guys speak Vietnamese? <laughs> How's your Russian? Scottish? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I get to the end of the video and I stand up, I pack up the stuff and I leave. I'm like, fucking hell, that was a lot more traumatic than I had at first imagined. Um, and I get, I get back to the hotel. I'm like, I need to know what he said in Portuguese here because this is it's gonna, yeah, this this is he gonna make or break my image of Ronaldo here. Either he is sound or he's just a prick. So I sent it off to a, a guy that speaks Vietnamese Portuguese. Right, he yeah, translates yeah. <laughs> it for me, nice. and he comes back, and it turns out. Now I'm gonna leave one part out of it because if my career ever does go down the toilet, I'll be able to sell that to the papers, right? But he says something. He, he go. He goes. Stop fucking asking him about. Uh, to, stop fucking telling him to ask about the fragrance. Otherwise, he's gonna come a, come across as a homosexual. Uh, blah 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 blah. But like, obviously, this is rough translation, right? But essentially, what he was saying was that I was. It was gonna make it seem like we were boyfriends. Uh, I was moving right, to him, right. like I was flirting with him about his smell and his fragrance, right? Um, and at this point, I was there like. Right, well, thank fucking what God. What a fucking weird bit of logic from him, that is. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, how, many, how many goals did you score in the Champions League? And, mm, God, you smell nice, Cristiano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So anyway, yeah, that, that was that. was that, And I was just there like, I, I, I was so relieved that he was actually back in my corner. Um, and, and he just essentially told that lady to fuck off and stop, stop interrupting the video. Uh, so that was really sound of him. Um, but yeah, there, there was just like this bit. I was there like, I didn't feel as though I was so this woman wanted to you, tense. This woman wanted you to do something. You didn't want to do it. Well, and Ronaldo didn't want you to be forced to do it. Yeah. So that's interesting. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> so yeah. I'm saying, you know. Can you say it in Vietnamese? <laughs> no, it's about perfume, isn't it? Like it's yeah. all perfume, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stinks. Yeah. It yeah. stinks to the Cheers heavens. to you guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's my Ronaldo story. So me and Ronaldo, we're uh, we're not we're not in a relationship, as no. he as he made clear. <laughs> I, think, I think that, that might have been lost in translation a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He, he just didn't want he didn't want me to flirt with him anymore. I think that was the vibe. I think were you trying to suck him off or something? Is that was that what the video was? <laughs> no, but that's what the lady wanted to see. <laughs> so uh, and that video, uh, that video would have done a lot. You stop sucking his dick. You talk more about the fragrance. <laughs> it's too much cock goblin going on here, love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that cock out your mouth. You can't talk when you gotta put the cock in your ass. Yeah, that's lovely. Talk about the fragrance. Right? Ugh, fucking smells lovely. Are you all right? <laughs> we all know that I'm not. Is he trying to get a new agent? A new perfume agent? <laughs> Adam, we've got you another audition. I'd love to do the voiceover for like a perfume advert. Oh yeah, yeah. If Neil's watching, and he does watch sometimes, Neil. I genuinely did have a voiceover agent who got me that audition. Neil Buchanan. Um, Neil Buchanan, he, he left Art Attack and he went into voiceover management. Uh, I would love to do a like a Scouse voiceover for perfume. Yeah. They just say like random words, don't they? Like, like Lakes. passion. Yeah. Passion. Yeah, but I, I can't Integrity. Do that. The Live of Beards. Obsession. Castle Street. The Hoover Dam. Bowl no, Street. Hang on. You don't. The bombed Out Church. No. <laughs> what? That's the not docks. a perfume advert. That's the like docks. The, that's like a weird tourist Gino board advert. Campo's restaurant. Right. You just got him. Go walk him round. That. <laughs> yeah, I'm so lost. I, I, I got lost in that. <laughs> I was. I was in. Adam's the releasing there. a perfume. <laughs> right. Okay. If you could ask him about it more, that'd be great. <laughs> Stop flirting with him, Cal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have you the essence of the Mersey? <laughs> Smells like the docks. <laughs> 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 um. We we do would you rather's on here because this is a really serious podcast. Yeah, and uh, I'd like you to you know take it very seriously if you could. Right, Daniel Johnstone, not the goat, not the goat. Wag wag lids. Another little would you rather here. Would you rather now? This is the only form of transport you can use. You are banned from all other forms of transport. You've just got to have one of the one of these forever. 
Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? Can't wait to see you both on tour. You got a choice? Make it. I mean, donkeys are just traditionally more of a transport animal than a giraffe is, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Well, they've got the experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, no yeah. giraffes on Blackpool Beach. Fact. That would be <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> he deals in facts. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'd go, I mean, I think a giraffe is a lot handier. Yeah. I think, I think you could... You could do quite a lot with a giraffe with a, a nice long neck. Poor example. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, I'd struggle to get on the fucker. Could suck That's... you off, though. He could fit it all the way down. Do you think donkeys haven't got a big enough throw for Dan's dick? Is that what you're both claiming? <laughs> There's only There's one way to find out. There's out there that could suck Dan off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need a form of transport. I also like blowjobs. <laughs> uh, Two in one. No, oh, the yeah. giraffe. It's easier to park your donkey. Like, you can't put a giraffe in a multi-story. <laughs> <laughs> or bend down. <laughs> no one in the history of thinking about giraffe and donkey transportation has ever thought about the parking. Yeah, yeah, get a donkey in a fucking multi-story. long storied history of people thinking about yeah. giraffe and donkey I, transport. Listen, I think you ride around on a donkey, people think you've gone religious. Like, you it's know, Bethlehem. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of that. I think if you ride around on a giraffe, people think you've lost your fucking mind. <laughs> well, Paul Smith's got a Lamborghini. Adam Rose got a fucking giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> you at hot water tonight, Adam? I am. <laughs> Just looking for parking. <laughs> Use the NCP. I can't. It's a fucking giraffe. You dickhead. <laughs> no, I think you're gonna look like a fucking Tory on a giraffe. Bit of a t- no, uh, I think donkeys you, are working class. I fucking. think you look cooler on the giraffe because people will be yeah. like, "Wow, where did you get that from?" <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone knows where you got the donkey from. Fucking donkeyrides.com. You're gonna you know get, I mean? you're gonna get some giraffe nature thing. Like they're gonna get the. No, you're gonna get that either way. People don't give a shit more about giraffes than donkeys, do they? Pe- yes. <laughs> Fucked. If you've got a giraffe, you're riding down fucking Duke Street in Liverpool, people will be like, he's nicked that from a fucking zoo. <laughs> no one's going to be like, oh shit, where did he get that donkey? I think it gives a fuck How about are you donkeys. Getting a giraffe out of a zoo? What? No one noticing. Open the gate. What? what? Big sheet. Oh, I'm just taking this radiator to get fixed. Yeah. <laughs> are we saying what that are you too? talking about? Can't, it's much easier to nick a donkey. If I seen someone in a giraffe, I would assume, fucking hell. They're hard to steal, so he must have paid for it. What amazing logic. That's the first thing you'd think. He couldn't have stolen that. It's a giraffe. <laughs> so Cal Freezy's looking at us like, 30,000 YouTube subscribers. Isn't it? <laughs> Good luck getting 40. That is. No, you, 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 you've got to choose the giraffe. Yeah. It's, a, just, it's a ball no, move, like, the, the, You get plenty of eyeballs. You turn up to the club in a fucking giraffe. Yeah, in a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> <To the club. laughs> yeah. You would, you could, in fact, how about this? <laughs> a, donkey, a, a, a donkey fits one, maybe two people on it. I bet you could get six of the boys on a giraffe. Right. That's actually a good uh, point. It's a people carrier, essentially. Yeah. You know, when you're trying to get a taxi, yeah. and you, there's like, oh, there's five of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's Uber XL. Yeah. Yeah, and if you ever XL? get in traffic, it's a donkey XL. That's just what climb it's on its, it's head. gangster as fuck, innit? Yeah, if right. Drake turned up to a party in a giraffe, Everyone like, wow, that's so sick. No one would be surprised. Everyone like, that's gangster, that. That's right. No one and, would be and, surprised. And, and if you rocked up on a donkey, you think he's gone broke. Yeah. 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 Like, There's something about it. I think giraffe. that's how much of a bell-end Drake is, that if he rocked up in a giraffe, you'd be like, yeah. Kanye's got fucking giraffe money. Yeah, he's got a zoo money. Yeah. Well, well, I can't believe that got taken so seriously. <laughs> Sometimes when I pick the questions, I'm like, that's random as fuck. And everyone, I asked it, and some people are like, what? I could, sometimes it goes down like, why are you asking that? Today, everyone was like, no, giraffes and parking. <laughs> Love it. Uh, ben Randall says, would you rather, hey, Lids, you live in a world where uh, bank and credit cards don't exist. Would you rather, A, every time you pay for something, you have to fire it out of your cock. The money has to come out of your cock. <laughs> <laughs> you still have all the sense of feeling as you fire two, pounds, two pound coins out of your um, gentleman's eye. I don't know if that we're allowed to say that. That chap's eye. C H A P S. Yeah, that's, much, at all, that's is much less offensive than your attempt. Than chaps, because chaps <laughs> rhymes with the thing that you're not allowed to say, doesn't it? So gentleman takes it one step further away from it, which is definitely less offensive. Yeah, Let's go with gentleman. Yeah, I, think, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. went with gentleman. He's put chaps. Oh, oh, right. I was trying to edit. Then I was like, "What are you being a pussy for?" No, gentleman. 
Gentleman's. Just cock Gentleman. Your penis. Gentleman's okay. Oculus. Bellend. That is, honestly, if you start riding giraffes, start using the phrase gentleman's oculus, <laughs> it'll work. Uh, Walking around, all right, love. Look at me, giraffe. Do you want to see me gentleman's oculus? <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> Rev Revin your giraffe. Revin your giraffe. <laughs> You're a fucking soldier boy. You're a fucking soldier Soldier boy. <laughs> That's why you're riding giraffe. <laughs> Look, he's got one on low down. One on, one, one on the top. <laughs> Six with his head. Me, me, on right, a, me down on a donkey. Guys, right, we'll get you some water in a minute, kid. Try Come and on. park that, you fucking prick. <laughs> Come on, five more minutes. It's three after six. <laughs> you still have all the sense of feeling as you fire two pound coins out of your penis. <clears throat> and the notes come out like they would a cash machine. Or B, every time someone gives you money, they have to shove it in your ass like a dirty little money box. <laughs> Big lovers always keep smashing it. Can't wait to see you both on tour. That's from Mouse. Defo easier to shove stuff up your ass than have it fired out your knob. But Cal, yeah. what do you think? No, I mean, one of my biggest fears is kidney stones. And I imagine this is kidney stones. Biggest fears? On, yeah. <laughs> do you want to fucking play around with kidney stones? Those things will- What's that? They're a threat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would be terror. I would be terrified to have kidney stones. Never mind a fucking the, the new pound coins with all the ridges as well. Oh, no yeah. way that's coming out the top. Yeah, and a fifty p. Imagine kidney to, stones. Not, not the fifty p. I'll just take the quid, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. If someone's like, "Oh, that's fifty p," mate, you'd just be like, Do "You know what? Yeah. Lad? <coughs> have a quid. Keep the change." Yeah. Oh no, I'd, pay, no I'd pay him five pences. Pow 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 pow. How would you Easy. do Christmas if your nan's giving you twenty quid? A lot of five pences. No, if your nan's giving you twenty quid, it's an awkward Christmas morning. Here's the way yeah. things are going. Like it's all going digital. Eventually, you're gonna have to fucking push out a picture of a sad monkey, aren't you? Like, yeah, I've got an NFT for that Lambo. There, ah, there you go. Is that an NFT? A sad monkey? Yeah, there's loads of like chimps. Isn't They're it? all chimps. Is there? there? For some reason, chimps is the choice. Can we have Justin Bieber bought one yesterday for one point three million US dollars? A sad monkey. Yeah, because he's a fucking gob. Can you? someone make Adam ride in a giraffe NFT? Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I think we should make a range of NFTs. Just saying. Can I just say, I don't think you get given money much anymore. A lot of people just backs transfer you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nans, innit? You don't right. have to shove 20 kids up your ass at Christmas. You don't want that. Yeah, probably just... What, what if your for a job was contactless? Just slapping it. Oh, do that. that, would, oh, uh, that yeah. That's the old... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if we're talking about it, uh, the money coming from your knob, surely we can now move into the digital age here and have the contactless. A little button, oh. innit? Just Chip and pin, dick. Yeah. yeah, I love... <laughs> Slap it down on the counter. <laughs> What's the six four pound fifty? Can I, can I just tap it? Yeah. Sorry, love, that's not gone through. You're gonna have to put it in. <laughs> Do you have aubergine pay, love? Okay, yeah, love. There you go. Like Apple Pay, but with the aubergine. Uh, uh, what happens to the refund when she's trying to refund you? You just turn around. Keep the change. Well, for a refund, how'd you get refunded? Yeah, she owes you money then. I, have to, I don't know, Carl. Just trying to make this thing work logistically. I think what you're trying to do is ruin the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do some have a words. Oh, I pressed oh. the wrong button. You Label them. fucking penis. Not got no can someone this week? Are we just doing have a words? Can someone produ produce some fucking some of these stickers? It came with a whiteboard that you threw in the bin. No, it's just a fan of Let's ruin some lives. Have a word. All right, lads. Absolutely. Do you know what? The, sorry. Do you know what the have a words are? He listens to the pod. He's seen bits of it. Ow. So people write in and they ask us to have yeah. a word with their friends with the, on their behalf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We, do, we do something similar, but it's like relationship advice. Yeah, no, these just, are often relationship awful based, yeah. and okay, we, you know cool. you can t feel free to genuinely help, or you know pass some judgment, do whatever you want, or wait for for Carl to ruin the bit. <laughs> All right, lads, absolutely love your podcast. Can you have a word with my work colleague? He listened to a podcast and heard them talk about these pills, which make you come more. He ordered them for a hundred pounds for two bottles from America. He now has to take nine pills a day for six weeks. As he quotes, that's when I'll hit peak performance. All he wants them for is to make his girlfriend look like a melted candle. <laughs> Sometimes I don't read these properly before I do them. <laughs> I, All he needs is I some just, full fat milk. I just read and went, dick pills. This is going in. Uh, please note that these pills are not medically approved and they have no other effect bar simply making you come more. I've noticed he has experienced a few mood swings and actually has no idea what these pills contain. Please have a word. Cheers. That's from Chelsea. Is it magnesium? Zinc. Or zinc? Zinc is tried and tested. Lord knows the fucking amount of liquid 
that I mean, it'll look like you know those really old like Victorian candles where it's like the wax has been going <laughs> off for fucking centuries. Right. Okay. That's the image that you would get if you took zinc. What's got zinc in it? No, you could just take like little zinc tablets. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I try that. Why? So I, I sort of get the 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 jizz fantasy. But there's the thing, here's me problem with the it. The melted candle fantasy as it's now. Yeah, the, the glazing. The, sorry, the sorry Chelsea, no one's into this question. What you've done is gone, have a word with him. He's taking pills for it. And everyone's like, great idea. <laughs> I need more cum. <laughs> How do you mean more cum? Potassium, zinc. Um, do you get it though? Like the coming on the face thing. Are you into that? Like as a, as a fantasy somewhere in your head? There must be. I don't, mi- I don't, I don't mind. I don't life. mind it. In but, real but life. It's not, it's not something I'm there like every fucking night. Oh, you can't do that. Poor yeah. soldier. Is yeah, this. but you don't want Michelin star food every night, do you? Like you just Why don't. Why wouldn't you? Because you just don't. Every now and then you want a Mackey's. Right, okay. Do you well, know what yeah, I mean? no, in that case then, yeah. Yeah, you just, like it's a treat, isn't it? It's once a month or it's a birthday. You're once, like, once hey, once birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what have you got me? Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Earthy princess. Oh, start shaking the tablets around. <laughs> um, no, I get it, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. I think genuinely, and this is sort of men need to talk about, I think. Uh, it's been talked about briefly by other comedians before. As soon as a man comes, the fantasy doesn't matter anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's all about the build-up and getting you there. Like, as soon as you're finished, that's why you can watch porn and it's horrible and you're like, yeah, it's great. And it's the second you're done, you're like, oh, I need to be in a different room from my phone for like two hours minimum. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I could go two hours without my phone. Um, but I think in his head, like he's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be amazing because there's going to be loads. I think if he just convinced himself there's going to be loads of jizz, when it just, and it was just a little pip, I think it wouldn't matter to him. No, but imagine the disappointment. She's there like, I'm buzzing for this. And then, (laughs) and they're both just, now they're just staring at each other going, what the fuck are we doing? This is really, now. So you think she's really excited about this as well? She's going to get just a little bit of If you've got the right one, then then (laughs) they'll be absolutely buzzing. Like, do you know what, John? (laughs) That really let me down there. It's going to be too easy to clean this up. (laughs) Right. I suppose this must happen. There must be guys who are like, this is it. I've waited a week and a half. I've well, backed it all up. And it's like, for? bloop. Like it, that's there a, must be a... That's not a question you should ask. What do you get excited for? Dan's a kinky bitch, you know? Yeah, yeah well, this is... This, well, I think we should... But I don't get the face thing. Do you not? Right. Genuinely, I've never I've never got it. Come on. Who, is it a one-night stand? Because if it's your girlfriend, and then what, you're going to go and meet your nana the next day? Oh, hello, love. You should no. You should probably don't do those days back to back. Yeah, separate it. Do you know what I mean? Maybe not. No, but you should be able to separate your sex from your relationship, like in terms because otherwise you've got kids and you can't. No, I'm I'm just for all the weird. I've always struggled with that as a thought. To be honest with you, sorry to interrupt you, but like doing really kinky sex with someone that you think you're gonna end up with. It's just someone you have to. I don't ever want to look my son in the eye and be like, "I've fisted your mum." But so so you're saying you wouldn't have kinky sex with your? I just think. I don't know. I would, but I think there's limits to where I'd go. Whereas if it, if I'm single and just experimenting, you and I know it's it. not going to go anywhere, I'd go a lot further. I think. I don't know. I, I think the opposite. It, I think it's new someone you trust, and then you both enjoy. Fist, like, insights into Carl's life there. Fist away. Possibly. Um, I think we've talked about this before. If you're in a relationship and it's loving, you can get up to all sorts of nasty shit. If you, if you're both into it and you can click it on and off, that's cool. People make their own deals. If it's important to you or whatever. This is just weirdly something I have never given a fuck. I've never come and gone, God, I'd really like to, like to see more force from... Uh, like, I just don't care. Yeah. It is what it is. It's just a function of feeling good. I've never, ever thought I literally want to make drench like someone's... Radio, to use a <laughs> do you reckon you could do phrase? that and like, you high, like, you higher your chances of getting pregnant? Because there's more. Um, yeah. I think the more that... The more the more merrier. The merrier yeah. But I think to Chelsea's original point, Sorry. don't buy weird pills from America where you don't know what's in them because that can't be good, can it? Maybe zinc supplements. That sounds natural. Well, Although don't go in Holland and Barrett and be like, hi, I'd oh, like to a- jizz heavier. <laughs> <laughs> God, well, you're going to need ami- Omega 3, 6 and 9, zinc and fuck off. Uh, my co-host actually bought 
dick pills that went by the name Rhino XL. Ooh. And I have a feeling, and it was from America as well. And he said it was like their equivalent of the boss man. Sold him it. Uh, I sold him. He said, he gave him the look. And we've spoken about this on the podcast. And uh, he said he's yet to try it out of fear of what this fucking pill is going to do. But, he's, but what I will say is we, he said he's going to do it and we'll report back. Oh my I, but God. I reckon it could be carnage though. A Rhino XL. So it was somewhere in his house in a cupboard, he's got he's a Rhino, XL. Rhino XLs. Yeah, just ready to go. Well, that's what he said. He said it's gonna it's gonna have to take like a certain moment. And I, I said, when do you know the moment's gonna happen? He said, you'll know. Yeah, when the I, moment is. I, when you get I, I agree with type him, of yeah. lady back and show, she's a Rhino XL girl. This <laughs> yeah. one. I agree with him. I think when you know, you know. You, yeah. When you know you need your Rhino XL dick pills. <laughs> You just, you'll have a moment where you're like, it's now. Today's episode is sponsored by Rhino XL. <laughs> when you've got a rhino kind of girl. What is it like Viagra or like, uh, it's just. It, it, look, the boss man pitched it as if it's an all in one type of job. You oh, know, really? like, you know, when you get like the cold and flu and it says it does everything. Oh, I imagine shit. this, but for your dick. Yeah, it gets you hard and clears your sinuses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it clears Sounds that great. sinus. <laughs> yeah. I think it's meant to make your dick bigger as well. Oh. So well, could you, get, you could you imagine if it was called XL and you just ended up with like a tiny cock? Like you'd be <laughs> fucking fuming, wouldn't you? So. You got a big rage and hard dick, but do you reckon it stays? <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking strong pill in it. I think I've made a mistake here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell! Right, no XLs done me in. Often with these things, like they apparently do work, but then it's like that for like forty-eight hours. Apparently, yeah. 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 So like, <laughs> genuinely, so you can't really do anything for two days. Yeah, I've had Viagra and, and you bonk on it and you're like, oh, it's going to be amazing. And then about an hour and a half later, you have a weirdly sore penis because it's still erect. Yeah. You just, that's the thing, exactly what you were saying before about looking at porn. You're like, oh, this is dead dirty. And then when you're done, you're like, man, I don't want to do that anymore. When you've stopped bonking, you just want your dick to be like, oh, good night. And when you've had Viagra, it's still like, all right. Do you live with a bit of guilt? Is there a bit of guilt that, like, you know, after you've had a wank and you yeah, catch yeah. yourself in the mirror and you just, you, you've, just feel really like bad about yourself. Is it the same sort of feeling, but with Viagra? I had like, do you look down and you go, I'm ashamed to have fucking whacked out that. I one. had such a moment of so this the other night, you know. I sleep on my front, so it's just uncomfortable. It's like, it's planking. Yeah. <laughs> I had such a moment of this the other night. This is horrible. So I've got a, a mirror at the top of my stairs and I have to walk past oh. it to get to the bathroom. And I, 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 I just, I was tired and in bed, but I was like, oh, I think I just, it's been a few days and I just need to get the, the demon out of me. And I did it. On the stairs? No, in bed. No, honestly, I thought you had a stairs wank. No one in the history of wanking should have had a stairs wank. I don't think I have. Oh, God. Lucy Pender was there once, though. So Yeah, that's true in my fantasy. Um, but yeah, I had one. I realised I had no tissue. And I was just naked in bed. So I finished. And then that's a sort of like limbo walk to the bathroom. And I just caught myself in the mirror, limbo into the bathroom to clean it up. And it was honestly Sexy. one of the worst moments of my life. It's just like, the shame. It's the intense shame yeah. that you yeah, feel. Yeah, it's just like, because I literally looked like I was trying to limbo under a limbo stick. Yeah. Because I was trying to make it not drip. So I was just like, and I looked, I caught myself, I was like, oh, you're a piece of shit, you. <laughs> to the bathroom, cleaned it up, and was like, what are you doing? <sighs> it's been a rough start to the year. Anyways, to answer the bloke's question, take the pills, see what happens. Yeah, take them and feedback. Right yeah. back in and let us know. Because if this works and there's no health complications, I'm just saying. I'm curious to know if it is. So Chelsea, right find out if he dies or not and then right back. Yeah, I don't want me third uh, vaccine, but I do want dick pills. You could do both. Rhino, <laughs> you could double drop. Oh, drop a rhino. I love it, Ali. There's literally, that half a word has been totally rejected. <laughs> She's like, I'm really worried about my mates taking weird dick pills. And everyone's like, yeah, no, actually, mate. <laughs> taken. <laughs> taken. <laughs> that he didn't write in. No, you should. <laughs> taken for your dick. <laughs> What's your name? Chelsea. See what your dick does. <laughs> Amazing. We're all going to get dick pills. Rhino mm. XL, you say. Have a look. Yeah. yeah. Bad. It has been an absolute pleasure having you then. Thank you very much for having me. Um, I am so glad to say that I have been on this podcast. And yeah, just we're very amazing. grateful for you. Thanks to for come coming, in, mate. Uh, Dan, can you tell everyone where they can find you and your all brilliant podcast, The Fellas Podcast? Yeah, so got a podcast called The Fellas. And then on YouTube, it is just Cal Freezy. If you just type that in, hopefully I pop up. 
And yeah, thank you, boys. For and you're on Twitter on, and Instagram and all that. Oh channel. yeah, yeah, just Cal Freezy, Cal Freezy just for pretty much Absolutely. everything. Absolutely, a pleasure Amazing. as always, Dan. No, what you. would you like to plug to our audience today? What's uh, going on in your life? We have got the Ghost Hunt Mark II, and it is out right now. It came out. Uh, if you're watching this on the public release uh, on Monday, the seventh of February, it's been out a couple of days. We spent a lot of money. We did a lot of traveling. And I did something that I will take to my fucking grave. And things happened that will live with me for a while. <laughs> and Carl see my dick. I actually, I caught a little glimpse of it. A very little glimpse of it. I wish I'd had Rhino XL. <laughs> Is this OnlyFans or Patreon? Which one are we plugging here? It doesn't matter. I it just want money. Okay. <laughs> I want to rent a trampoline uh, park on my own. Also, so, um, if this has gone out publicly, uh, then we will have announced something at the roast show that will now be on sale on Patreon. It might already be sold out by the time this goes out, but again, that's on Patreon. It'll go out publicly on Wednesday. We've got something coming. Keep an eye on our socials. Patrons will already know about it by now. And on top of that, by the end of next week, I think it's very possible we've got the biggest announcement. It might be two weeks, but by the end of next week or the week after, we will have the biggest announcement that have a word I've ever made. And when you think about the past 18 months and what we've done, the shows we've put on, the studio build and all that sort of stuff, if we get the thing locked in that we're aiming to get locked in, fuck me. In the ass. And call me Sally. I can confirm. What you told me is pretty incredible. Yeah. We're getting a giraffe. <laughs> get on me. Lee Carsley. <laughs>